Bob. Hello. The gang is all here, I've been told. That's some shit. The gag, of course, being me, 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 and me. What a, what a full bench. The, the the streaming couch is completely full. Just gonna just gonna pat pat it with my hands. Just fluff up those pillows a little bit. <sighs> Let's give it a hot minute so everyone can can flow in and realize where we're going, so that then everyone feels included. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Mm -mm. Let's see if anyone has any. See if there's any more really bad takes to kill some time on the, the dagger heart. Reddit. Unfortunately, no. How sad. I was hoping for another... Another complete buffoon to amuse myself. Oh, that's... Oh, oh that's that's nice of last call. Hmm. Gosh, I really want to watch that video, but I've been so busy. I've been busy all day. I've, 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 I've written, I've, I've gone for a walk, I've done groceries, I've taken care of some, some, some footage recordings and uploads and all kinds of stuff. I'm just, very productive and busy day, just shaking my little, my little bee. God, I want to watch this stream now. <laughs> you know, that's just, consider an encouragement for me to stay on track and actually finish this today. Well, there's no bad takes for me to laugh at. What a shame, what a shame. There I was, all excited. Been having some weird stuff with the writing. Okay. Oh! <laughs> YouTube is yelling at me that my bitrate is set too high. Well, that's your problem, YouTube. You figure it out. I can't stop it now, YouTube. We're, we're a little late. Let me let me just let me just tap my my, my imaginary watch. We're a little late on that, buddy. All right, guy, gang. Um, I think this is everyone who's going to show up. I've told Como he can show up if he really wants to. But I I, I don't trust him. Where 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 were we again? That, that looks like the one. Oh, yeah. Trish giving us the offer of a lifetime. Would you, would you like to participate in a, in, a, in, a, in a twinning fan... In a twinning... Fetish fic. And the answer, of course, is... I have an ending to get, lady. I don't have time for this. God dang. Stop wasting my time. One month later. I need to turn the recording on. One month later. It's prom night, baby. My old man was kind enough to send over his old tuxedo from his time at high school. We, we mentioned that last time, right? Or did he just make that entirely up? Scary Dave, Lobster, Safi, Gang. Yes, there might also be garbs for some other people. Y YouTube, I get it. You don't like my bit rate. Now, shush. My old man, yeah. But, uh, yeah, he mentioned that in the, in, the, in the museum last time. What a weird little scene that was. I really like how that... The aquarium had this gushiness to it, but that scene just felt off-key in a really nice way. Sapphire Crook and Lobster Gang. I'm gonna put that lobster, because the R is a fake. I'm actually Sapphire Cook, and time to make ourselves some lobster soup. I took a bit of suing, but I got it looking pretty good. Judging by the wine stains on the sleeves, Dad's made a lot of important announcements in his time. <laughs> I love that that's the observation he makes. Like, it toasts and, and the wine spills. Gives it a bit of history, I guess. Oh, it's it's Naomi in in the dress that doesn't 100% make sense. But no, wait, I'm thinking of something else. We'll we'll get there. I I if Naomi's wearing prescription glasses, I don't know if it's the best idea to go for something that low cut. Like I get it, it looks great. But also, I'm still not sure if she's just that undressed, or if she actually thought it was a good idea to wear something that's skin colored. I'm willing to swing either way on that. 
Like, it's cute. It's a fun outfit. It's got a good color matching going. I just don't know if it works. You did nothing, Lobster, but someone's got to be sacrificed to the algorithm. Them's the breaks. You know, back in back in the Industrial Revolution, we could throw children into the gears of the machinery, but nowadays it's, it's, it's way more complicated. When I arrived at Fang Place with a cheap corsage, I see the pomegranate parasite waiting outside the front door. Great. And dear God, how can she move in that dress? The top half looks like it's been shrink-wrapped to her body. I mean, it doesn't have boob sleeves. Like, it actually goes across like taut fabric would, which I'm going to give him credit for realizing that. Fang's top doesn't do that. I'm 100% certain there's nothing underneath the bottom half. I mean, if that's not, like, skin tone suit, there's nothing under there. How the hell is Spears okay with that? How did, why did he sign off on this? Ew. <laughs> uh, you know, no actual stains on his sleeves is an interesting detail. Again, dark background, he <laughs> just fades away. Sorry, Anon. Back into the void with ye. Fun fact, for some reason Twitter and Reddit showed this outfit, but Ben had it. Every fan base has its... <laughs> oh no, I gotta go to the Reddit now. Why must you do this to me? Uh, it's the Snood game one, right? Because they're not big enough to support anything else. Damn, that's a really good drawing of Damien, though. Fuck. I got one of uh, uh, Anon, that's nice. Sprite editing skills. Who is this? What Trish is this? What Trish am I looking at? Insert stupid dinosaur lesbian pun here. <laughs> Fair enough. I like it. It's cute. That's cute. Where is he? Fang's twin sister? Aurora. Aaron. Of course she has a fucking scar. You gotta, gotta, someone's gotta have it. Oh my god. <laughs> that fang looks like she's from Night in the Woods. That's adorable. I love it. Oh, human. Nice. And Tiny Anon. What is this with Tiny Anon? Why do we keep seeing him being a little guy? Just a little fella. Oh, I cannot find... Ooh. Models. Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> no, please. Do not play, play music. God dang. Oh, someone actually drew the the guy in the in the in the Fukabai Volcano High, like one of the movies. People are like, "That's Adon," and someone drew him. That's neat. Ben, Benjamin, Ben, 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 Ben. Oh no, this is an interesting thing that I kind of want to read because it looks interesting and I might do it on stream. There's a rethinking of Snoot Game. Oh my goodness, there's there's some big things here. I wanted to find a fanboy, but I found instead big things. That's fine by me. The Mia Ma Routers, we oh no, no, those are spoilers. Quick, quick move, keep moving. Keep moving. I cannot find it. I'm lost and I'm months ago now. Well, we're just gonna have to make it. However, I did see something else. And it's the, it's the, yeah, it's the little guys. <laughs> God damn, I love these little chivis of them. They're such little guys, little beans. Uh, all right, enough enough thinking about stuff. Oh, we already knocked that on. Not so bad in a moment to invite us in, and I'm sure Fang will be getting ready too. I heard the two of you are going to prom together. Ladies and gentlemen, the next Sherlock Holmes. No, I just happen to be in a suit to go golfing. I ignore instead. Focus you can stand on not stabbing my palm even more with this flower thorns. Fuck it. Free is free. And nothing's more free than a five finger discount from the name. <laughs> Hello, Mo. You and Fang are just the cutest couple. Did you sign up for Prom King and Queen? Nah, she said something about the fastest sixes monarchy system. Well, Nasra and I have entered and we're gonna be prime royalty. Ooh, I can't wait to wear that beautiful tiara. I picked it on everything and the crown for Nasra. I have already tuned her out. 
I love that he has a little red bow tie. <laughs> it's such a cute little detail. But isn't the pocket supposed to be on the, the left side? I, I know that they mirror the sprites or whatever, but it's, it's one of those details. Like, you could easily copy-paste it a little, little lower and then you just flip it. God. Well, that isn't the fanciest jacket I've seen in a while. His arms look a little funky like that. All rugged. Totally better than the background of Avatar he always wears. Sorry to keep you waiting, Naomi. This thing's always a nightmare to get over my wings. Yeah. It's uh, one of those topics that uh, people don't think about too much. Come on, on. Come on. Then are you already here? He wears the two of us to enter, pecking Naomi on the cheek when she passes. It's just a mirrored light, Safa. How do those giants have side coats? Is she not wearing... <laughs> what do you mean, mirrored light, Como? What are you talking about? What? Listen. It's... <laughs> No, mother is just the Northern Lights. <laughs> Fag's mother speaks up from the kitchen. Oh, is that Anna? Here we go. The small pterodactyl comes out, and a bull she's struggling to stir on. Oh, aren't you handsome? Pictures, I mean, pictures of you and Lucy. She sets the bull aside on the coffee table and frantically searches for a Polaroid camera. Oh, to think that Lucy would have such a wonderful young man to take her prom. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Prom night. Prom night. Huh. There's a half chapter for C and D specifically called Prom Night Intro. How quaint. Also, if I recall correctly, Fang always, always doesn't participate in the prom queen thing, right? There's like a fun twist you could put on, on some of the other ones. Mirror sprite, yeah. It's fine, Como, it's fine. <sighs> Found it. Hold still, dear. Ah, it's like getting slapped in the face with the sun's dick. Ah! I blink my blindness away. So that's why Inasa has those fucking aviators. Oh, there's a lot that gets copied over. This, however, is where it probably deviates. Fan comes downstairs in a fancy getup. It's certainly less traditional than... Listen, Fang, I get it, you know. You went to a cute website that was all like, Hey, it's 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 non, it's non androgynous. It's non-gender specific, but... That doesn't mean you can just flagrantly disregard what actual dressing standards exist in your culture. Like, this just feels like you're wiping your ass with it. I imagine that Spears is okay with it, because he doesn't want to make a big fuss out of nothing. But everyone is gonna be talking. Also, I just... I feel this outfit could be saved so easily by having long pants or having some higher socks. The amount of leg that is showing is just really incongruent with the sleeves you're going for. You got these long rolled up sleeves about above the elbow. Like... It's like you're wearing socks with sandals. Like, why aren't you going the whole mile? Either direction. Better looking than ending to Olivia. Ending to Olivia is just wearing a white sheet. Like, it's so lame. I, I just I just don't know. There's something about this outfit that could have easily been saved. I, I guess Fang doesn't give a shit. Like, he could tuck it in, close the vest, get some long pants, and it would look way better and still androgynous within limits. This is just flagrantly wiping your ass with the situation. Not low less flattering, though. Yeah, you get to see the whole leg. The whole chicken leg. Put it in the deep fryer. Make some dino nuggies. Get it? Di oh, I got him. Very intelligent, thank you. Legs for days and days and days, and then I fall asleep because it's been a little too long. <laughs> of course, they have a sprite for this. I forgot. This looks... Okay, listen, this looks fine, because they got the little fold-up cuffs at the bottom. Holy shit, does this just look terrible, because now it has... Ugh. Fang, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Did you think this is fashionable? Like, at least they buttoned up the shirt. Looks a lot better. But, could have gone with a tie or something to know, help... Like, you should... Say what you want, I am. A little traditional. I was hoping you would wear the dress I bought for you. Oh, I love... <laughs> she just looks constipated. Mom, this is better. It's gender neutral formal wear. Looks more like she took some dickies and uh, made him in the booty shorts. Not that I'm complaining. The word. Oh, Anon, fuck you. <laughs> Get out of here. 
Uh, oh, Fang. That's an uh, in interesting outfit you're wearing. Nomi side-eyes me a dagger. I thought you'd be wearing some kind of dress. Nah, dresses are my style. I, I uh, see. Well, your outfit is certainly... It pairs well with Anon's. No, it doesn't. It's the wrong shade of black. And, like, Anon's shirt is an off-white, and hers is bright white. It doesn't even... Like, it's... You need to wear something that looks... Like, I get it. Fang is like a slight bl bluish-gray fine. But you're too close! It's just too close. I mean, who are you to talk? Lady is literally not wearing underwear. Goddamn. Goddamn. Oh, and I love your dress too, Nicho. Just like a giant big dildo. Listen, Fang, I don't know if you've been going to Bad Dragon, but that is hilariously accurate. Lucy. What did I say about that? I already told you to call me Ba. Told you, my name is Fang. Fang's mom just said, it's really funky that Anon sticks to it for so long, as long as he does, really. And I think that, in a weird way, a lot of people would call it disrespectful. It kind of works from the perspective of the story. One, Anon's a prick. And two, it helps reinforce the idea that Fang her herself isn't really into it. Like, Lucy isn't into it. If you did it in Gabavikin, Ohio, where it's more like, yes, this is actually who Fang is, it would be kind of a jig move, and it would have to be a reversal turnaround for the character. Like, I'm doing it now, and it's not played for laughs or, like, the bad ending. It's just like, yep. I was a big old bingus. But here, it's fine. Okay, sorry, Fang. But please, you don't need to use that kind of language towards guests. Whatever. God, this song is so depressing. Uh, I want to find out where the song starts playing. It's Ballad of the Boot. Welcome to the Ballad of the Boot. <laughs> Maybe we should just go. I'm not sharing a ride with her. Well, if you insist, Fang, before you go, and I'm can I speak with you for a minute? Yoink! Before I can even say anything, Naomi's dragging me by the shoulder into the kitchen. Hey, it's better than standing around the taxi. It's not better. She looks just as taxidermit as this. <laughs> she gives me a deaf stare for what I think is a solid minute before she starts yelling. What the hell is your problem, Hanon? I think that's the first time I've ever heard Naomi raise her voice. Or even swear. What the fuck did you manage? How the, in the fuck did you manage to make Fang worse? I... What are you talking about? Naomi begins to look even more earth-shatteringly mad. I thought you were going to make her better. You know, since you're a fucking asshole. I thought if I hook her up with a disillusioned fucking toxically masculine moron who thinks he's some stupid alpha male based on a science paper on wolves that has been disproven for fucking decades, maybe you would turn her into something more respectable. Your plan has a lot of conditionals on it that I don't know if I agree with. Do I look like an alpha male? I'm a loser, Naomi. I would turn her into a loser. <laughs> I fail to see why you would think this would get any better. You do know that in the ending where Fang gets all the points, it gets worse, right? What? Oh god, this song is great. What is going on? <laughs> this is called Protestra Punk. Oh, what a great name. What the fuck do you mean, make her better? It's like you didn't even try to help her. I did the best I could, okay? I certainly did more than whatever you've ever done for her. And you know what? She's the wrong person. If she's happy, I'm happy. If she's cooking, I'm cooking. YouTube has been yelling me every two minutes that my bitrate is too big. Hey, are things okay on your end? Because if the bitrate is too big and YouTube farts, that, that's bad. Naomi's sheer anger quickly turns to disgust. I can't believe you. You really don't get it. If you want a trad wife, why don't you... T uh, why do I have to do all this work for you? Have you not seen her parents, her brother, literally the entire school? Why am I the determining factor? 
all I wanted was a cute goth tarot girlfriend, and you're ruining it for me. He just starts crying on the kitchen floor. It is how many bits per second you send through the internet at the streaming service, like how much information you're yelling at it. Basically, I'm going double what it wants, and it's like you're sending me too much information. Like, no, this is a fine amount of information. No, so so if the stream is fucking up, that's that's why. Tell me so I can reboot it and make it work. Naomi sighs and walks away, shoving into my shoulder on the way out, completely disregarding my presence. Do we ever use this kitchen for anything nice? <sighs> Let's go. Just go. Get out of here. This conversation is over. I, I like how the bad ending starts off nice and subtle with, oh, that outfit ain't that great. And then, oh, this ain't great. Honestly, what is the ending one outfit in, in, in Wani Gator that it's worse? Because it has to be worse in some way, right? But like a plain white dress that's not doing anything is already pretty... I can hear Fang arguing with the parents in the other room. Didn't they not yelling at me anymore? Place my hands in my pockets, turn around, and head back into the foyer. My walking slows, and the hall feels like it stretches onward for miles. Can Naomi be right about Bao Fang? No, no, she can't be right. Fang is happy with herself, for once. The arguing from the other room quite quickly and very loudly breaks my train of thought as I stride back to where everyone is gathered. Oh, this ain't great. That's no way to talk to your mother, lady. I'm not a fucking lady, Dad. Naomi leaned against the wall next to the entry to that hall. She turns to me with an expression of very intently, intently restrained rage on her face. Did I really do this, Naomi? Maybe you should leave before this turns into a fight. Naomi's words were cold, but probably true. Fang looked like she was ready to set the house on fire. So she caught me in the corner of her eye. Without a word, she grabbed me by the wrist and dragged me through the front door, guitar in her other hand. I'm gonna call a taxi or something. We sit on the curb in silence until our ride arrives. It's the same velociraptor driver from before. Of course it is! I open the doors, Fang, for Fang, as she fits her guitar in the back seat. Hey, it's my favorite couple again! How's the leg skinny? Ah, oh, fuck, can you not hit it? The driver chuckles at his own remark. I like that he just uses a slur. What a, what a, what a chad. Just no fucks given. I don't care about my tip. You know we're okay with this. This is fine. We've established this already. <laughs> it just hit me, but the scene would blow up if her dad would say something like, You sure look like a... Oh, God! Scary Dave, ooh, spicy, but a very honest and fair take. We're doing fine. Take us to Volcano High. Ah, uh, prom, I'm guessing. Oh, you two high school sweethearts should stay safe out there. Crazy world out there, innit? Yeah, I, I guess. Not uh, too much party in ya. You sure you guys are going to prom? Well, sure. Well, if you say so. It's a little weird that your girlfriend isn't saying anything. Like, I know it's the guy and everything, but I thought she was like a non-binary. Shouldn't she, like, uh, you know, be doing something? I don't know, you're the one who's been using female pronouns this whole time. You clearly don't believe it either. You know, I'm just doing what you're doing, buddy. I'm just following your clues, and it's not like they're saying anything, huh? He sh shifted so swiftly and subtly, I didn't even notice. <laughs> the cab starts down the street, at what is easily twice the speed limit. Oh, so he drives like my mom. Great. The engine is surprisingly quiet and leaves the silence awkward between the three of us. In the driver's mirror, in the mirror, the driver's eyes start showing a bit of concern. He glances towards the radio. Please don't. Mm. He gives a disappointed look through the reflection. You kids uh, feel like stopping by a restaurant or something by any chance? I know a good Chinese place around here. I can wait outside if you do, you know. I won't even add it to the bill. This guy, fucking Chad, what a goddamn Chad he is. He knows the situation ain't great and that these kids need a little help. That's how we know that he is Kane from Vampire the Masquerade. He has all the vampire powers at 10 dots, baby. 10 dots. <laughs> Oh, 
I'll be honest. I, I, I like the driver. Like, Reed pointing out some stuff is one thing. I kind of like that this random character, like, he's a, he's a taxi driver. Of course he knows what bad couples look like and how bad relationships look because he sees them all the time. And I like that idea of, like, him being like, hey, listen, you probably should be anywhere but a public situation right now. Like, literally anywhere but a public space <laughs> that you are familiar with. How about that? He's trying his best, but he cannot save Anon from being a dweeb. I'm on a schedule. We'll pass. No, thanks. Uh, uppercase, just for emphasis. Uh, sure, sure, sure. The driver sighs a little. Oh man, I'm wondering what the other ones will sound like. Oh, you can even see little lanterns from here. Eventually, the cab pulls up to the school gymnasium, illuminated by the celebratory decorative string lights. Fang opens a wallet to pay the toll. Uh, you know what? It's on the house this time, kids. I don't want to be paid in blood money. What blood? Uh... And he just quickly, like, shoves the script back into the glove compartment. <laughs> Don't worry about it, kids. I I'm just not going to watch the news for a couple of weeks. Wait, really? Sh sure. Yeah. J just have fun, you know, and uh, if you need a cab again, you know the number. There's something inside from the books. <laughs> we know. We know. Now get lost. See ya. The taxi pulls away from the curb and rounds the corner onto the main road. We still got about an hour before his peers told us to be home. Sounds like we got plenty of time. Don't be surprised. Come on. I consider carrying the guitar case for her, but Fang is already a couple of yards ahead, power walking to prom. Fang leads the way to the school gymnasium. Her shoulders are tense and her wings are raised higher than normal. I pick up the pace and try to catch up, but Fang's long legs only moved faster. So, uh, what song are you gonna play? Uh, just something me, simple me and good old Trish wrote up. Why? I'm just curious what's going to knock Prom out of the park. What about Reed? He was busy. No, you can't write a song without Reed. He's perfect for the second opinion. The two of us get up to the entrance, the room filled with seniors, strobe lights, and a very suspicious smelling fog. Reed and Trish were in a corner, both with red solo cups. I don't need to question what was in Reed's. Reed notices first and waved us over. Hey, Anon, could you stop playing this ending? I really don't want to end up with a, with a fucking tragedy on my hand. Just reload the game, or start a new one from the main menu. Reed, I'm not... Reed, please. We need to do this for the bonus chapters. I know, and it fucking sucks. Why couldn't they just give it to you on the good ending, right? Like, why do I have to suffer just for you to live? Yo, buddy, how's it going? Ready to see us kill it up on stage? She has more than two options where she doesn't... <laughs> she doesn't need Reed! Oh. Two more... More than two opinions already. <laughs> that's so that's actually fucking clever. Non Boolean opinions. Yeah man. Bang said you were gonna keep it simple with what's up there? Nah, don't wanna do something super complex. Just kinda keep it simple and cool for these guys. So, uh, when are you guys starting? Can I just point out, Reed? You're not dressed up, Fang looks like a goddamn dumpster turned upside down, and Trish actually looks respectable. What the fuck is going on here? 45 minutes? We spent 50 minutes getting here? Shit, I thought we were later than that. We need to start getting prepped. Trish didn't say a word. We hauled ass to Mr. Jingo's room, space missing, where the band stole their gear. Reed's drum set was in pieces and I helped him reassemble it, while Trish and Fang tuned their guitars. <laughs> Bling! String snap. For some reason, it has a quote that says CCO. Zero. Shit. I dropped the snare drum I was holding. Fang's guitar string had snapped. Trish and Fang looked devastated. Uh, don't you have a spare? At home? There's got to be some here. <laughs> Read, Anna, look around. We don't have time. What? But, uh, a spare guitar, maybe? We don't have time! Look, me and Reed can... Anon, you're not helping. Look, Anon, we just need to focus right now. Just go outside so we can figure something out. The words cut straight through me. 
She's really kicking me out right now. Please, turn on. Read a silence and I catch a glimpse of the smirking species Triceratops. I begin to formulate a response, but just manage a small nod. Ah, y yeah, sh sure. Fang hasn't yelled at me like that since the beginning of the semester. <laughs> but playing a prom seemed pretty important to Fang, so who am I to intervene with that? <sighs> I didn't even want to be here in the first place, but... I'm following Mo's advice. I'm supporting Fang, right? The music slams into me as I re-enter the room, grating my ears and thrumming roughly in my chest. A quick pass of the punch bow and I find an ideal spot. In a darkened corner, where I can support the wall and with my back and sip on my cheap punch. My feet grow sore as I observe the other scenes having fun. Every now and then, one of them would just point at me and snicker. I simply hide my face behind the solo cup and try to down out the judging eyes with sugar behind sugary water. Oh, you poor guy. <laughs> they think you got dumped. Enjoying yourself, Anon. I nearly choke on the fruit punch. A per principal spears, are you chaperoning? I wouldn't ask any of the faculty to look after you, but... Uh, mm, yes. Are you enjoying your prom? Oh. Oh, we get a choice? Uh. Uh, could, could be worse. Could be worse. The moment the string snapped was the moment that it sealed the deal. There's no going back. Big Iron is hot and ready, and there's some characters I'm done for. I wish I could turn back time, because now the guilt's all mine. Can't live without the trust of those you love. Yeah, like, the string snapping is the moment where a bad decision gets made, I think. Like, kicking Anon out for one moment. Where's your date? I thought I saw the two of you earlier. Weren't you all getting ready in the music room? Uh, we were, but um, uh, something came up, and she asked me to leave. Yeah, I was just getting in the way. I see. The two of us just stand, the crowds mindless frolicking in this in silence. In two days, half of them will be dead. What are you talking about, Adam? And then he, he like quickly shuffles the script into like his, his jacket. <laughs> nothing, nothing. Don't think about it too hard. Seems there's something else on your mind. I can tell these things. Uh, no, not really. I'm just respecting her boundaries. Are you sure that's really what's going on here? Uh, here we go. Here we go. Back when I was in the game, I learned a thing or two about. I sigh. I know we can't forget the past. You can't forget love and pride because that's what's killing me inside. I sigh into another massive man standing next to me. I saw the punch in my cup before chugging the last of it. I just want to go home. A responsibility. Take responsibility and take it seriously. Relationships are a give and take sort of deal. Got it, Anon? Sure, sir, I'll keep it in mind. Yes, uh, listen, I know that I'm just wasting my time here with you, but um, the, the, they pay me to do these lines. What are you, what are you talking about? And he just quickly stuffs the script into like, his, into, into like a secret compartment on his tie. Nothing going on. I'm not going to show up for the editing except from a distant vista. Because me and Reed are goof characters, so we don't really fit into the whole thing. Who knows how many teachers got killed. <laughs> the principal sighs and leaves me. Yeah, he give up on you, buddy. That's the worst thing someone can do. Ever moves out of the way as he cuts across the room to the small stage. Oh, that's over there! Huh. The music fades and all that's left is chatter. The music fades onto all that's left is chatter. Spears takes the stage with Mike in hand for once. I think we're going to get to a part where it sort of pseudo-converges. Because, like, I'm pretty sure the prom announcements is the same all the time, right? Because they made a whole thing for it. All right, everyone. Before we end tonight's prom, we have a couple of items that need taken care of. First thing is, he pulls out a tiny sh gold sheaf envelope from his lapel and holds it up for the audience to go at. Although it's possible since we're in a custom entry that nothing is shared, so the game is like, no, this is new lines, you need to see this, buddy. How does it register those? Like little bit values everywhere? To announce prom king and queen. Well, this is a foregone conclusion. 
A few students have already begun congratulating Nasa as he's led by the arm. The bomb by his pantlet. It's a little too much by there. A oh, drum roll, please. Reed steps onto the stage with a small block in his arm. He smiles and nods, and pressing one of the myriad of buttons on the block. A mediocre sound, a mediocre recording of the drum line, drum line plays over the speakers as Spears clears his throats and tears open the envelope. And your winners for the one meal. 2020 class. Ah. Uh, now, sir, and now me. He tosses the paper over his shoulder and yanks out the crowns from a pocket inside his jacket. The script flies out as well, and everyone is very confused about why they have to make funeral arrangements. Spears backs out of the spotlight, giving a polite applause to the pairs they rush on stage to accept. The rest of the class is in a victorious uproar. Spears uh, offers the crowns to Naomi, who puts the larger one on Nasa's crest to droop off, and then dolls a tiara. But it's custom made. Whatever. The whole moment is picturesque, probably exactly like she wanted it. Thank you all so much. Goodbye, Volcano High. It's such an honor to receive my... I don't really have a speech prepared, but... For some reason, my belly button is showing. That's, that doesn't make any goddamn sense with how dresses work at all. Like for realsies, that happens with skin tight suits because, you know. Like, I can imagine if it's pulled taut, it might show a little bit. Because, I don't know, I think at a certain circumstance, taut materials tend to curve inward somewhat for some reason. Like, cloth is weird. When, when you pull it, like, to the sides, what it does a lot of the time, right, is it makes these little. It makes these little waves in the fabric, for some reason. Just eats the whole script, and before going away, checking out stuff. <laughs> yeah, I guess I guess Spears would just devour the script in one fell swoop. In just one short year, we... All right, all right, let's stay on schedule. I promise your parents you'll be out of here by 10. We're 18, Spears. We're graduated. Yes, I know. That makes it all the more fucking awkward, really. To close out this wonderful night, I have a student band play a couple of bops for us. They've had their tries early in the year, but I think everyone deserves a second chance. Please welcome Worm Drama, blah, blah, blah. Oh, Jesus Christ. The audience's applause decreases noticeably. Wait again. It was the last time, wasn't he? I'll just start recording. Yes, good one. Bang will show them how much they've all improved. I should start memorializing their faces and their dumbstruck expressions. Ah, whatever. I'm, I'm failing. I know Fang can pull this off. Reed wheels the drum kit on stage on the dolly, and Trish follows with a bass. And then Fang comes out with a bass as well. Wait. Wait, wait, no. They couldn't find a new string? And they're just going to repeat the first concert? What were they thinking? Three finish making last minute preparations to give an anxious look to one another. For one brief moment, Fang looks me right in the eyes. I think we all know what's about to happen. The band doesn't bother introducing themselves. Well, didn't Spears already introduce them, technically? Instead, Trish begins plucking her bass. <sighs> and it all began tumbling down from there. Poor Sisyphus punished once more. This hurts is a good way to describe this. Just like before, Fang's bass sounds horrifically wrong, far too heavy. She's a guitarist on a fucking jazz bass. Of course it sounds horrid. And then the vocals kicked in. Reed's lyrical expertise was not on display here. Nope, they sounded like they came from an edgy teen's Twitter page. A terrific screecher, combined with a melodious shredding on a bass, <sighs> created a cacophony equal to a hundred cats being ritualistically sacrificed. What a word that is, ritualistically. It all returns to nothing. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Down the hill he goes. <laughs> I still suck after six months. <laughs> the crowd's cautious cheers were long gone, replaced by a symphony of ridicule. The band already accepted their fates, both bases hanging limply from their shoulder. There is no shoulder strap here, by the way. Then a few students start chucking balled up tissues at their heads. Reed puts his hand on Trisha's shoulder and the two duck out. Oh, they're just ditching Fang? Wow. Fang stays a moment longer. The despair on her face manifesting through hot streams of tears. Fuck. 
That is raw. Just like our good friend, the chef Davy Crockett, Gordon Ramsay said, the shit is raw. I mean, you think that Fang's father would be more on top, or Nasser would be? She turns to leave as well, trying to maintain a calm composure. And a student throws a red plastic cup of punch upstage. It splashes against her head, drenching her suit in red dye and making her smash onto the floor. A few more food articles follow while Fang scrambles to get up. Shakily, she tries walking off stage again, only to be hit with another makeshift water balloon. The back of her shoot shines a dull red in the stage light and she struggles, struggles not to slip again. Spears rushes on stage and throws his coat over Fang. Nasa was about to jump off stage and tackle someone, except Naomi's had her arms around his waist. Enough! The room goes completely silent aside from the sounds of Fang's sprinting footsteps and sobbing. Spears' laser gaze is directed at me. He jams his thumb in the direction of the exit Fang just took. I slip out the side door towards the music room once again. Trish and Reed were sitting in the far corner of the room, and Fang was nowhere to be seen. Hey, man. Great. What do you want? Fang's not here, dude. Where'd you go? Probably the auditorium. Oh, to be alone. We'll be fine, too. Not that you care, asshole. You're right, Trish. Uh, what? I don't care. I need to find Fang. Now! That was uncalled for, man. And so is this. It felt so satisfying to slam the door in their useless faces. I turn around and leave, flipping off Trish through the window as I go. She probably blames me for the show going wrong, too. That I sabotage Fang's guitar because it would make Trish look bad or something. I run to the auditorium with, the on with only the sound of my footsteps echoing through the hallway. I stop at the foyer to catch my breath. My hand rests on the door, ready to push it open. What do I even say to her? Just bear with it? You still have friends? All of that's terrible. At the same time, I can't just stall here. I push open the door softly. The light spills through the foyer into the darkened chamber. Spears' jacket is thrown over one of the seats near me. The door shuts behind me, leaving me in the dark. I can only stand in the night-veiled room for my eyes to adjust. From somewhere in the room, faint sobbing echoes. Fang? Are you all right? Great opener. Fantastic. I, I mean, are you going to be all right? The sobbing continues for a bit longer. No. I slowly follow her voice down the aisle, using the chairs as my guide. At this point, I can vaguely make f out Fang sitting at the bottom of the stage. Fang? I'm standing before her now. My eyes have adjusted enough to make out some of the details on Fang's face, such as her eyes looking off. Fang? I didn't fuck up. Hmm? I, I, I didn't fuck up, right, Alan? Nah, nah, you did your best up there. Fang's voice started to take on a hiss. Yeah, yeah. It's all their fault, right? Whose? Who the fuck else? Nasser and that bitch. Uh, fucking Naomi. She ruined this. She caused all this. If she hadn't come into my life... If she was never around us, sir, if... Fang! That startles Fang, making her mouth click shut. Oh, look, forget all that. It doesn't matter. None of this matters. I... I... Naomi doesn't matter at all. She and her stupid plan don't fucking matter. My eyes are finally focused enough to make out the smashed base at Fang's feet. I ignore it and sit reaching for Fang's shoulder. She flinches under my touch, which makes my heart heavy. Hey, uh... I want you to do something for me, all right? Just repeat after me, all right? She doesn't look at me, but nods her head a bit. It doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yes, it's back, but I ignore it. It doesn't matter. See? Feel better, right? Yeah, yeah. 
I guess. Thanks, Adon. Good. So, ah, uh, I don't want to be here. Oh, do you need me to walk you home? Actually, I, uh, can I stay at your place? I don't want to see Nasa right now. I can feel my face practically glow with that thought. Sure, sure, of course. You are not getting laid, Anon, you goddamn clown. Come on, let's go home, Fang. I probably felt very proud saying that. When I enter my apartment, I remove my suit jacket and toss it on the floor unceremoniously. I loosen the tie, but don't bother taking it all the way off. Fang collapses in, a cot without, in my cot without a word. Guess I'm sleeping on the floor tonight. Going to sleep already? Uh, I frown as I see her hair sticky and clinging to her dumb dress shirt. Maybe you should take a shower. Like, at least rinse the punch off. I I've, uh, I, I think I got some clothes for you. Okay. Fan gets up from my bed and trudges over to my bathroom. Turn on the lights, man. All right. Clothes. I open my closet and look at all my identical jackets. <sighs> Bob Bang seemed like a good idea at the time. I take the spare dress shirt Dad gave me. It's super baggy, even on me. I think it's from that time I tried to cosplay. I shudder at the memory. I take that and some bold shorts from my closet and kick a chuck. Okay, I think I should... Wait. Wings and tail. Uh, some minutes later with my knife and I hear the shower sputter to a stop. I knock on the door and let the custom cut outfit on the floor for her. I set a I set a change of clothes for you. Let me know if you need me. Yeah, maybe if you need me to do some more cutting. Well, I go back to my bed and consider what next. Maybe a movie or something. Fuck. Who would even cheer her up? Thanks. Fang plops down next to me. The shirt's hem falling down to barely cover her thighs and the lack of shorts I could give her. That bed looks short. If only she wasn't so depressed, she'd look really cute right now. So, want to do something? You know, play a game. Oh, play a game or something? I don't know. I, I just don't want to sleep yet. Yeah, sure. Fuck me sideways. What do I, what do I have that's presentable to someone else? I, I got a kingdom he No. Ducks. No. Sandra. Fuck you fucking retarded. Considering it, fuck no. Screw it, I'll just throw the rock ring. It always calms you down. It's the only game we actually ever canonically play. <laughs> Don't get many opportunities to use the Duke, anyways. I boot up the X Rocks and insert the Rock Ring 2 disc. How the hell do your wings work, Fang? How the fuck do they work? Seriously. Also, Anna, your shirt looks wet with how. Like, dark it is compared to Fang's crisp white shirt. Fang clicks over to look at the TV as I take my spot on the floor next to her. This is my favorite Rock Ring story. I let the campaign intro play and turn to Fang. I like that little mouth she got. That's a cute little mouth. She's just blankly staring at the screen. Probably still processing what happened earlier. <sighs> yeah, man, it is really transparent and it's fucking weird. It's a dress shirt. Although, admittedly, part of that is, like, Fang's body shouldn't be visible. I imagine that something that's, you know, an opposite color would sort of shine through. But it's baggy, which implies that the fabric isn't stretched and thus would be more condensed. And two, I don't know, it's just something really... It's a really weird time to be doing this, considering the ending we're getting. It's such a fucking weird thing to do. You uh, want to play first? Might I hope you take your mind off from. Fang lets out a muffled sigh. I can just watch... I decide to skip the cutscenes and get right into the gameplay. Propelling a bunch of dinosaurs from the volcano caves. Easy enough. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Look at that fucking giant controller. Look at that behemoth. <laughs> that thing is huge. 
It's a classic Xbox controller. What, that thing looked ridiculous, by the way. Like, I recommend it if you are not familiar with the original Xbox controller. Look it up. That thing looks absolutely goofy. It is as big as you think it is, by the way. Not as big as this, I think. I think it's a bit smaller. But the original Xbox controller is so goofy. And it had those buttons. I can't... No, the black and white buttons aren't on there. They're supposed to be, like right here near the shoulder buttons after the color buttons, but it's goofy. It's a really chunky thing for some reason. And the logo takes up such a massive amount of space for, it does nothing. It's not even the home button yet. They just made a giant logo on your fucking controller for some reason. Playing with a dodge and rock combo is the easiest way to get, <laughs> oh my God, it's, I thought rock ring would still take place in like space, but no, it's just a fucking dude, <laughs> a stick. Takes more skill than using a spear thrower at least. Yeah, cool. Hannah, you said something about Naomi having a plan earlier. What do you mean by that? Shit. Uh, gotta tread real carefully here. You can save this by being like, you know, the plan of being like prom queen. Because that's a really easy thing to shove under the, the rug and everything. Thing is, uh, you know how I said I just transferred in and everything? Yeah. Well, Naomi kept... No, it's, it's nothing. Forget I said anything. Fangs it up and is eye level with me. How short are you that you can sit up and be eye level with me? It's not nothing. What did she do? Da Anon is not a goober. Da Damien is Anon here. They not. Dame. Oh, excuse me. Anon is not a go go is not a gobber. He's a goober. Damien is. Anon is being a dummy, like a goddamn. <laughs> yeah, man. This is the situation where you hug it out. Like the fa like this is where Anon's bad boy points, his inability to read the situation, pops in because. <laughs> Anyone with half a brain cell knows that you really shouldn't be doing something separate. They need someone to be there for them. And to be there does not mean you're playing a fucking video game. If you're going to play a video game, have them sit next to you at the bare fucking minimum, right? Or have them sit in your lap. It's a very simple way to have it be done. And, you, and they, they, they might lie down, look up at you, and you look down, and you slowly turn off the sound of the game, and you're just staring, and your dude dies in the background, and you're such a fucking scrub because you just lost a Deathless Legendary run, but it's fine. It's fine, because you're going to smooch soon. It's going to be smooching time. Uh, that was not a good time. We should talk about it later after I finish my no-def legendary run. Squaw! <laughs> look at that... Ch oh, the white button isn't white. But look at that fucking giant controller! It's so dumb! Why did they make it so dumb? Oh, I can't stand it. I know, right? But the, the N64 wasn't great either. But the PlayStation was starting to get the formula down. How could they fuck it up this bad? How did they mess it up? Who do I fire for this? Also, would love to point out, I like that Fang's hair is like a messy thing. Because that's hard to do. But, man, Anon's face is like, oh, shit. And Fang's like, oh, shit. They really capture the energy of like, we're going places, baby. We're going places. Sapphire Crook distracted by the fucking controller when shit's going down. Fang grabs him by the shirt collar with shaking fists. Tell me! I, I can't... Fang, get a hold of yourself. Oh, sweet Jesus. No! Rainbow, watch out! Damn, this fucking scene, though. Those claws are so long. Ugh. I like how the wings are sharp, too. It really really makes Fang look ugly and dangerous. Very well done. And on his load to the ground, he's flailing. The music's terrifying. She jumps to her feet, grabbing my shirt collar with her, lurching my head with it. Damn it, Anon! What have you been planning with Naomi? Her free hand raises into a slashing position, clenched into a claw, so her nails protrude like razors. Tell me or I'll... She put me with you! All at once, Fang loses all energy in her body. Her grip on my collar loosens and a clawed hand lowers. Man, they made a lot of stuff for this. Oh fuck, look at the eyes. Also, you have a you have a ceiling fan? But look at this. Fang is just dead. Dead inside. Yeah, Fang has been like tiny eyes for a while now. I'm left for dead. Yeah, man, she's become one of those become the witch. One one slash will do you in. And on a sweating. Jesus. Decent framing here though. I personally would have taken it a bit further. I would have put Anon a little lower to the bottom. Like, that might not make sense from a perspective, but it helps exemplify, like, Fang up here, Anon down here, distance created, create some empty space between the two of them. Because there's emotional distance. 
All the tension has moved directly to her face. I don't think I've ever seen such a look of hopeless despair. After what feels like a year of silence, I get the courage to stand again. Yeah, this is, this is awful. Who needs the shooting? This is terrible enough. The moment she realized her choices might have never been her. I imagine that finding out you're in a Truman Show situation sucks, especially if the Truman Show director is your worst enemy. Imagine the person you hate the most in your life. That could be me, by the way. Imagine I orchestrated your entire life for you, and I'm sitting there, snickering, rubbing my hands together, steepling them, going, yeah, <laughs> my worst enemy has just gone through a life I designed. You'd probably lose your shit and throw a banana at me, at the bare minimum. Don't throw grapefruits, go for bananas. They're suitably appropriate for the context. Mm. Don't worry. I'm getting all the silly out right now. Uh, uh, Naomi made it so the two of us were together. Nasa's always worrying about you, so she wanted to get his full attention. By trying to have someone... Uh, uh, fix fix you. Fangs, Chang's cradle her head, as though squeezing it hard enough that she would wake up from this nightmare. I think an element that a lot of stories tend to forget, that is immediately and just extremely obvious, you have one life. Imagine if a large part of what you've been living so far, gone, meaningless. You have one life, and it was taken away from you. And when you become aware of that mortality, that is probably what this face is. I do think they should have done something with the... the Because they mentioned that Fang has punch, and she shines red. They don't do anything with that here, and I think that's a little bit sad. Oh, no, wait, she washed it off. I forgot she went to, she went to get a shower. Fang, I didn't have any control over it. You really know that I do have feelings for you. I genuinely like you. It doesn't matter what Naomi's stupid plans were. We still... Out of nowhere, Fang's energy returns into a fit of unrepressed rage. Sweet fucking god. I like how those feathers kind of look like blades. You know, like weapons that got a guard and a blade and a handle. Damn. How much do you have to go nuts for your feathers to just start falling out randomly? Aw, oh, sorry dear Como. I'll, I'll be honest about this. I, I gotta be honest about this one picture. While Fang's facial expression is great, something about the posing really feels like those goofy old Greek urns. You know, it's just a little bit off. They don't... Where is Fang's foot? Where... What? How How does this work? Why is his arm there? What? Whomst? <laughs> also, you can tell that they didn't properly... like they do, they do this thing where they color the outlines on the shirts, on the buttons, and the interior details. They don't do that for the button that's in between, not, between his fingers. And the reason I noticed that is because I'm a pedantic little bitch, and I'm telling the creators they're dumb. They're big idiots. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm laughing. <laughs> yeah. But no, he had to do a Deathless Legendary one. Why are you doing this now, Anon? You're not thinking straight. She would distract you from the from what matters. That's why you don't do it. Let's see. The, the cuddling in the movie also means that like you, you have Fang in your arms. You can restrain Fang if it gets down to it, right? You can just go, huh, and you got him. You instantly have Fang pinned down. And you can keep it down. I like that because Anon lives in a place called Skin Row that's terrible. You can actually have these characters scream and kick and do all this stuff without... And it's like, you know, people wouldn't respond to this. I like that you took your fucking socks off, Anon. Like, I understand taking off your shoes. But your socks? Come on. You didn't take a shower. <sighs> that stupid bitch! That goddamn slut! Fang, calm down! Shut the fuck up! You literal actual tool! Fang, with no intention to vent frustrations verbally, resorts to the next best thing, physical therapy. The bed sheets are quickly discarded to the other side of the room in a clump. Fang, please! Fang is convulsing as though possessed, frantically looking for other things to ruin. With a swift kick, the Duke is catapulted into the bathroom. I hope Fang's foot is okay. F calm down, don't break anything! She starts kicking and punching the nearby shelf with all her might. Fang, stop! You'll hurt yourself! My pleas are ignored. Instead, all I get is continued desperate grunts as she tries to pummel the wooden door. Fang, you really need to stop. With one last scream, she punches clean through the shelf cabinet door, leaving a hole the size of a football. That's enough! <laughs> okay, that's a pretty cute face. Very inappropriate for the context. But, <laughs> goddamn. Goddamn. While Fang is recoiling, I take a moment to grab her by the wrist and rush her over to sit on the bed. Tears are streaming down her face. No, they're not. While as I, as I shift my grip to her arms. I will say, the, the stage directions are fine for the most part. I'm willing to accommodate that, but... Eh. 
There we go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, because Fang went to the shower. So, like, all the mascara would have been washed off, right? I didn't even think about that. I, I, I think you have to use, like, makeup remover because that stuff usually... Hmm. Going Suplex City on Fang. Welcome to welcome to Suplex City! Bad timing. But, yeah, Fang would not have any more makeup because they j she just went into a shower. What a weird detail. Also, that means that technically... I mean, hair dye, I think, is more resistant because you're supposed to apply it in the shower. Makeup is not like that. It runs from your tears for a reason. Damn, that look, though. Like, this is like... Uh -huh? And this is like... Oh. Man, look at Anon. He doesn't have a facial expression, but just the mouth... And the way is enough to convey his desperation. I can't even fall in love with her without her intervening with it. You don't like me. You just want me to change into something that, I, <laughs> that I'm not to get Naomi off your back. The funny part is, right, I'm all okay with Fang deep down just being some music teacher lady. It's so fucking weird that in this ending, Fang makes such a big deal out of it. Is it just Naomi? Like, come on, there's something weird going on here. It, it feels like a wire got crossed and some communication even is slightly better to make this work. Because... In two of the three endings, she turned into a fucking wet rag. <laughs> for one reason or another. I don't think you even know who Fang is, Fang. And that's the bad part. That's not true. Fang, listen to me. I, I do look... Whoa. Before I can finish, Fang plants her foot on my chest and pushes me away with all her strength. Uh, no, no, she's fucking breaking your fucking sternum. Jesus. The force makes me stumble back several feet. And luckily I managed to regain my balance before falling on my ass. You took me away from my friends. You ruined our band. Damn, this scene is just fucking going from A to B. Fast as fuck. What the hell are you talking about? I haven't done any of that. If I was doing, like, the wiki, this is, like, me in every fucking scene going, like, this is where that is. This is where... No, this is what if I was writing for it, and I was, like, I want the room to be accurate to the game. I'd be going through all these files going, like, okay, this is where that is, this is where that is, this is where that relates to that. Ugh. <laughs> Naomi is and and you're just you're just doing whatever Naomi wants. Well, maybe well then maybe Naomi had a point. Oh, sh you clown! Ah, deafening silence permeates the room. The malice radiating from Fang is tense as a razor. Eventually, the weight of the situation causes it to collapse on the bed completely. Between sobs, Fang tries to squeak, squealing out more of the argument. Just, just shut up. I don't. I... Here's the reality, Fang. There are things about you that need fixing. That much I can agree with on Naomi. And clearly, I can't help you there. Fang's body tremors with her sobs. Shit. Was I too harsh on her? Uh, Fang, I, I'm sorry. <sighs> You're right. I took you away from your friends and all that. I caused all this. No. No, you wish. That would be too much of an honor for you. The phrase cuts to the bone. I retrieve the bed sheets from the floor. Uh, look. You're tired. I'm tired. Let's just... Oh, you can see his Xbox. Let's just sleep on it and think it over tomorrow. Did you ever buy that game you were saving up for? As I draped the blanket over her shoulders... You mean her wings. Those are definitely more protruding in this context. She reaches out to squeeze my hand. I, I do love you, Fang. She lets go. Uh, uh, good, good night. Fang curls into my blanket, staring at the wall away from me. I hit the light switch and lie down across the room from the bed. <sighs> I use the felt blanket that exists in every house, and I'd frankly rather just sleep in my clothes. The moonlight leaking through the curtains gives enough visibility for me to see Fang is still silently weeping. You would probably hear that, although it's silent. I watch from afar until the breathing becomes slow and rhythmic, the sort only achievable in a deep sleep. What am I supposed to do about her? I'll talk with her more about it in the morning. For now, I'll just try to get some shut-eye. Uh, my heavy eyelids practically glue themselves shut, and I'm asleep within five minutes. Ugh. 
I wake up the next morning to with my head cradled in my arms. Oh, there's the carpet. My back aches from lack of proper bedding, but that's hardly new. Groggily, I pull myself to my feet. I pull back the curtain to reveal the thick Sunday fog that had rolled in overnight. What time is it? I guess I'll check my phone. I love Rainbow. He's so nice in the background. 10 a.m., huh? Damn, I slept a while. Did Fang sleep as well? Fang, you up? The bed is empty. Oh. Wait a second. My phone has 70 missed calls and over 100 texts from NASA? That's right. My phone was on silent last night from prom. Uh, it's probably just worried about Fang, but by raptor Jesus is right nut, man. I open the most recent voicemail. Oh, it's the other testicle. By raptor Jesus' left testicle, if Fang is not home within the hour, I will hunt you down and mount your head on my trophy wall. You will rule the day then. Whoa. Next one. Maybe I didn't make myself fucking clear. I will drag your skinny house to the station myself if Lucy is not home in the morning. I have a particular set of... I'm starting to get the idea. All the texts are written in a similar vein. I like how the dad used Nasser's phone. Or, I think that's the implication? Maybe there are other voicemails. I tried texting Fang to see if she got home safe. Hey, you alright? Did you also notice your dad was pretty livid last night? He must have been riding all night long. No immediate response. Well, she'll see it when she sees it. It's not like I can do much for Fang right now. I take note of the mess that Fang created. I remind love how badly I fucked up. Fuck me. So this is what they mean by prom night disasters. I always thought it was just a euphemism for teen pregnancies. <sighs> this laminate something. Splinters all over the floor for my dresser. Eeeh. A check inside my bathroom reveals that the Duke had managed to crack my porcelain throne. Shit. No way I'm getting my deposit back now. I check the controller carefully, only barely relieved that there's no damage. After I swept up the broken bits of the broken dresser, I find that I have no real clue what to do. Checking my phone reveals that Fang has seen all of my texts. I sigh. Ugh. How am I supposed to make this up to her? I feel like a fucking heel right now. The x rocks are still... <laughs> you left it on. The x rocks are still running. I might as well finish my no deathless legendary run. It'll take my mind off of things, at least. The torch and club combination is perfect. It was torch and club, right? Shit. The torch and rock combo, excuse me. Wouldn't want to insult the professionals. Master Grog, you mind telling me what you're doing on that... Master Grog, you mind telling me what you're doing on that boat? Ooga booga, finish this fight. Guess I'll play the next one, too. Don't really feel like anything else today. That's a deathless saga for you, buddy. Wake Grog when you need Grog. Really wish I could just float away in an iceberg like Master Grog. <laughs> oh my god, they did the whole fucking thing in Rock Ring. You know what? Kudos for having to envision this whole fucking scene. You know, putting up with all that. I glance on my phone and realize I spent ten hours playing Rock Ring. But mine was soon enough for most of that. Guess I lost track of time. Hey, Tanon. I'm shaking all my thoughts by a knock at my door. The door I forgot to lock. I'm fucking... I, oh, God. I'm gonna get murdered. Butchered. My body parts sold in the black market. It turned to some disgusting Rhino Rex sex toys. Hopefully in that order. You won't like the actual order. Before I can search for my knife, the door opens to reveal... Tanon, hey, you... Hey. Why are you huddled in the field possession? Fang, oh, thank fuck. I deflate, slumping help lifelessly on my bed. I thought your dad was going to kill me. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, so, sorry. Fang sets a backpack down on the kitchen table. Why do you have a backpack with you? So. Shit. Should have actually thought about what I was going to say to her. Fang, about last night. This is fine. Right, what? It's fine, Anna. I don't blame you for what happened. What? In fact, I'm sorry for overreacting last night. There's something about this that is setting off alarm bells in my head. I don't know what kind, though. Why? I, I, what? I said I'm sorry. I shouldn't have blown up on you like that last night. Even if this was my fault? I, I should have. It is not on. But. My words are cut off. My mind goes completely blank. Fang's hand grabs my dirty dress shirt as her beak presses against my parted lips, her tongue invading my mouth. She puts away, pulls away abruptly, leaving me confused and lightheaded. 
Uh, fine. It's fine, Anna. Everything is fine. The hands guide me down to my bed as she straddles my lap. It's what you wanted, right? It's what you wanted, right? You got your wish, Anon. Aren't you the lucky birthday boy? The one who wins. Sometime in the night, the bed shifts. I hear the bathroom door close, and I paid no mind to her back to sleep. Eventually, my internal clock wakes me up. Stretching and yawning, I realize it's a lot brighter than normal. Did I sleep in? Yeah, of course you did, man. You got lucky last night. Everyone loves an apology, fuck. Even if you didn't deserve it. The alarm clock on my table has been unplugged? I reach over to grab my phone to check the time. 9.02 a.m.? Ah, oh, shit! Hang on, I will be on late. Wait. Where's... Fang? Her backpack is gone, too. Oh, come on! She went to school without me? <sighs> Rush to put on my clothes and get out the door as soon as possible. About halfway through, the f my phone buzzes in my pocket. Unread text from Fang? Control over my life, you deny. No death approaches from the sky. Why did it be me you had to vilify? Goodbye, volcano high. The cryptic message stops me in my tracks. Something is definitely wrong. This almost reads like... The adrenaline pushes my feet into a desperate bolt towards the school. The whole time my mind floods with the horrid worst-case scenarios. I tell myself I'm just worrying, but my man's sprint betrays the lie. As I approach the school, I notice a crowd through the haze. Surely, it it's just a fire drill. The deceit is shattered when I see the crowd consists of students huddling and crying, with teachers quietly making sure everyone is accounted for. Where's Fang? She has to be in this crowd. There's just a fire in the school that, that scared people. She's in this crowd somewhere. You! The voice calls out through the silence for all to hear. Okay, so I'm going to stop the recording. I want to keep this mostly straight. This picture is drawn pretty bad for how serious this scene is. Um, I know that there are a bunch of other uh, pictures that were going to be included in this where like Nasser crawls up to you and everything. Um, let me pull that up because it's actually... Oh, fuck. I can't access that right now because I don't have my mega file synced. Fuck. Um, there's a lot of anatomy in this scene that just doesn't quite work. Sorry to tell you. This guy is missing his fucking head. Look at the size of his wrists. There's so much wrong here. Trish moves to stand a dozen feet in front of me on the pavement, a shaky finger directing malice towards me. She's red-faced, tears streaming down the mascara on her face. Why did you come here? Blurred faces turn to the commotion. You bastard! Why couldn't you just leave us alone? Look at what happened! Look at what you've done! Are you happy? I, I can't say anything. Is this really happening? Leave us already! You show up, get their attention, and now I... She chucks her phone through the air. It misses by inches and smashes on the ground somewhere behind me. I was right about you the whole time. I was right about you. You... By now, it's our raid has become incomprehensible screaming. The teacher has to hold her back and try directing her to a nearby curb to sit. I don't have time for this. Where is Fang? I gotta get in that building. I turn around and dash away into the fog as Trish is consoled by a group of students. The side door is still unlocked, and I'm able to slip in without being noticed. The halls are silent, despite it all. My footsteps clatter through the empty halls. It's the third period now. Fang always talks about having to deal with Naomi and Econ. That's not on this floor, fuck. I pause when I reach the stairwell upwards. I, I can't say for sure what, but my instincts are screaming at me not to go up and turn back now. I, I can't. My hands 
lightly glide along the handrail while I cautiously cross the stairs to the second floor. The first thing that hits me is the smell. That electric, almost metallic stench of wet ozone. I I've never been in a real fight before, but even so, it's a smell that everyone instinctively knows. I, I couldn't tell what sound I make, because frankly I don't remember. All I will remember from this is the sight of my former classmate, splattered across the halls like bags of waste. Spills and blood trails tell the stories of their final moments. Two were trying to run and still remain face down in their final resting places. One is slumped from a locker, smearing his remains all the way down like a puppet string. And the last one, who tried fighting back, now clumped in the middle of the hallway, soaked in the collective pooling blood. It was Massa. This isn't real. None of this is real. I'm just having a nightmare after last night's episode. Things are just fine. I will turn to reality soon. Please? God damn it. Where's Fang? I just need to find her. There's one open door in the hall. The one closest to the battlefield. I already know I'm not going to see her. Fang hasn't been in that room since she started. The only thing here, in here, is the huddled corpse of our student council president. Guess she didn't get that perfect high school life in the end. <laughs> the stairs. There's only one place she can be. The only place sh where she could go. When I turn back to the stairwell, something makes a wet thud behind me. Somehow, Nasser's still alive. He m he's moved his arm in my direction, and still has the strength to move a bit. His eyes meet mine for a moment. D disappointment. Sorrow. Mourning. I, I can't focus on him. He's got seconds left. Anything I try would just be a waste of time. His hand makes a wet slap against the tile one last time as I start at the stairs. Somehow the remaining two flights have gained several hundred steps. I haven't seen anyone who has it yet. I haven't seen who it was yet. But it might not be her. You know, well, it can only be her. How could I have known this would happen? This isn't my fault. You're just as much a hand in this as she did. Hang isn't here. She's at home, being grilled by her father for seeing me again. She's behind that door, with a loaded gun. How long have I been standing here staring at that doorknob? How much longer can you get away with putting it off? As it is, it's not the worst case scenario. Even if Nasser and Naomi are gone, there's a chance it's not Fang up there. I'd rather just stand it forever. You know? Relishing the possibility. There's just a little bit of hope left. However, time stops for no one. Time stops for no one. Not even you. Police sirens have been outside for a while. I can't ignore them any longer. I owe Fang this much at least. Door knob is still cold in my hand. I turn at an exit to the rooftop. In the dense morning fog, the only thing to stand out is the silhouette. One that I easily recognize. Fang! She's silent. I can't even tell if she's looking at me or not. Fang, please, say something! I like to let him as I approach her. Uh, Fang, come on! Uh, this is all... Slowly more and more details come to. The revolver that hung limply from her fingers. The splatter of blood on her pants. Her wings with multiple bell patches on them. The sound of her ragged breaths. 
Fang! My fingers brush against her shoulder. Searing pain! My left leg crumples under me. As I fall, I see Fang's beautiful amber eyes. They're red and puffy, with makeup, there's tears running freely down her cheeks. Anon, why are you? Uh, ha, ha. Fang, why? You weren't supposed to be here! You shouldn't have come here! Because... Because I love you! <laughs> I struggle to bounce on my left leg. The hole in my shin dribbles blood down to the floor. I don't care, though. I hobble forward. Fang steps back. Stay back! The roar clatters against the concrete. Spent on ammo. Fang, please. A painful step forwards. She takes another back. And on. Just come downstairs with me. It's not over now, so let's With a crunch, my shin gives out completely, lurching forward onto my hands and knees. I have to keep going. Even if it's on my knees, I can feel myself slowing. Thoughts cloudy. The blood loss. The pain is so intense, however. Brings some clarity to mind. Enough, I could drag myself forwards. Come, please, th come down with me. Oh God, oh my God, stop! A sharp bone pokes and tears through my leg muscle. I briefly look behind me. That trail is spilling out and making my other leg wet. Vile rises up to my throat at the sight. I swallow hard and look back at Fang. I have to reach her. I can fix this. I s can still save her. Fang keeps backing away as I get closer, remaining out of reach. Fang stops and catches her balance. Her foot is halfway over the edge. We reach the edge of the rooftop. End of the line. Fang, look at me. The head shakily turns from the concrete below to meet my eyes again. Back away from there, please. I... I... It's not over. S stay with me here, please. I... No, don't leave me alone. We stare for an eternity. All through the police screaming below. Fang looks below once more. Down a three-story drop to the walkway below. The walkway we pass through so many times to get to classes. Without a second thought. The walkway we cross daily with our friends through all our trials. Please. She looks at me again, less sh shakily this time. The sides of her mouth curl into a warm smile. The last of her tears falls. Fang! I can't look over. I don't want to see it. The authorities betray my final wish of death by bursting through the door at that exact minute. I drift into unconsciousness when they start wrapping my leg. Three weeks pass. Probably. All I can remember is the sterile hospital room and an endless lineup of reporters. The whole incident made national news. Apparently, I had become 
the brave soul who took a bullet to stop a school shooting. But to everyone I know, I was just the one who caused this. After I refused to answer the constant pestering, though, I was left in blissful solitude. I expected a visit from Spears, or Reed, or Stella, or someone, but they never came. I got discharged just yesterday. I need to stay on a crutch for a few months, but it's hardly the wound I'm worried about. I wasn't invited, of course. But you can't just leave it either. So I waited a sight a few hundred feet away for the remaining family members to trickle out and go home. We can see who exactly. Spears, Reed, Mo, Trish, the parents, the priests, and probably whoever did the shoveling. last figure lingers for over an hour. If anyone is the one who deserved this the least. Right the whole time, probably. Here you are, defiling her grave with your presence. Eventually, he too leaves. Alterations of footsteps and a crutch make me feel more mechanical than human. And again, that may be true regardless of having a crutch. The two graves are right next to each other. Various flowers pollute the fresh mounds. In memory of Nasa. Loving son and brother. I'm sorry, man. I all over to the other hot headstone. Here lies dearest Lucy. Heaven restores you in light. Verity using a real name. <laughs> God damn it. It was all my fault. None this would have happened if I'd noticed something was wrong. I just supported Fang more instead of getting into a fight. I never got between her and her friends by telling her how I felt. I just never bothered Fang and stayed to myself. If I never moved to Volcaldera in the first place. Fuck. And because of you, Naomi, and Nasser, and Fang, and all the others are gone. Because you're just too fucking stupid to see any of the warning signs. You really should be crying right now. You should be screaming to the world why you should have died instead. But instead, I just feel... My, f my final plea to Fang races through my head. Don't leave me alone. I just feel completely and utterly and hopelessly alone. Sprinkling rain stops. Seems the world is tired of my monologuing. I just shed. I'm just some nobody. In the middle of nowhere. And the only person I ever cared about is gone. Split second. I thought I was anybody. I ruined everything. And now, I'm back to being nobody. It's better this way. Apparently that is a reference to a, to like a very good documentary.
So, a little tasteless, but perfectly on brand, actually. Perfectly on point. So! Fuck! That is so much worse than what I saw bits and pieces when I spoiled myself before I even knew I was going to play this. I would like to repeat that statement. Fuck! The audiovisual presentation really adds to that. Jesus! Let me, let me repeat that for the, for the boys in the back. Hot ziggity. Hot ziggity. Fuck. So, I, I don't know why, but for some reason I had it in my head that the gun is anons, but that doesn't make any sense. Are we, uh, need me to click? Oh, it's, it's, it's crashing. That's great. That's great. That's, that's, that's fucking fantastic. Uh, yeah, force the recording to stop. Thank you. Uh, that's, that can't be good. <laughs> Fair enough that it would fucking eat shit and die. Uh, yeah, I gotta close this. Uh, I also have to open this. Uh, Mega, can you please show me some Snoop Game content? Because I would like to look at a couple of things. What are these? Fang 3D? I don't want to see that. Just close already, Snoop Game. We know. We get it. You had a very hard day. Because you had a bad day. You take it one down, then you do the dun just to turn it around. And all that fucking jazz. Oh, it's supposed to crash? Wow. Let me, let me, let me just see. What a weird thing to do. Have your fucking thing crash. Storyline. No ending from no ending. The game says fuck you. <laughs> the game says fuck you, you don't get credits. Yeah. I had it coming. All right. So, um I'm just going to download the whole cut just download it all for me, Mega. Thank you. Oh, I forgot they included like some hardcore pornography in their art book. Thanks. What I really needed to see right now. What I really needed to see right now is Naomi, completely nude. That's that's really what I wanted to see. Not look at some actual concept art that you cut out. No, Dino Nuggies too. What's this? It's a text file. Dear writer, Naomi is a bitch and cannot be redeemed in a few sentences. Please, at more filler. <laughs> what the fuck is this? We're, we're, we're taking a look at this. Dino Nuggies 2. Download. You, you know I want it. You know I fucking want it, Mega. Give it to me. I want all the beans, baby. Oh, look at this fucking Fang jumping. There's some good art in this. Oh, we got, we got Tiny Fang. She's grisped firmly. I, I gotta download that one. I think Como wants to see that. I think Como deserves to see grisped Fang, because he likes that stuff. Como loves big things, grabbing small things. Makes him happy. We'll get, we'll get there. We're not there yet. I'm still recording for the actual ending. We're doing a little, 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 little thing because I want this to be concluded. It's not going to be on the recording, but the rec it's just fucking look at the stream if it matters so much to you. I got, I got to put up some pictures. Uh, starting with Como, you deserve, you deserve to see Grisped Fang. Uh, here you go, Como. Grisp gently like hamburger. I love the little lions. They're great. All right. Uh, we got Dino Nugs 2. Whatever the fuck that is. Notepad automatically saves my progress. I don't care. I want you to open this shit with Notepad++. Always. All right. Let's pull out the ending. Oh, they're, they're already in a neat little folder that I can just extract. How lovely. How kind of you. I don't care. Just just cut. Just you, you can't. Why can't you cut it? Just Just give me all the CGs. Please. Try again. Try again. Try again. Try again. Why is A06 making you so much of a fucking hassle? Why is this princess in another fucking castle? <sighs> what, what's the problem with A06? Cannot complete the extraction. The destination file could not be created. Oh, so it just did a bad download. Gotcha. Hold on, we're doing a bunch of stuff. Um, 806. Oh, yeah! That pro 
No, no, it's it's something else. Um, hold on. Obligatory. <laughs> Obligatory. Fuck off. Uh, gonna transfer this, and that should be everything. That is everything. All right. Just needed to redownload AO6. There you go. All right. Who wants to see some more tragedy? What are these? Fang back. Oh, there's some concept art of him like walking over and seeing the grave. I do like that they didn't include him in the last shot. He's just off to the side, and we don't see him. I don't think anyone wants to see him anyway. Man, I love that the one where he's like limping over is called fuck.png. What more do you want? Fang back's neat, because you only get the silhouette. Hey, the pants actually have some fucking dimensions to the tears. I like how the hair is done here, too. It's a lot more... Like, the hair is a little too clean sometimes, but here it's got some dimension, some volume. All right. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot. The fucking web M. The terrifying, just disastrous... I think that they probably went with the right one by making it a little more subtle. <laughs> Sorry to tell you, buddy. All right. Uh, what do we got? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot the fucking pictures they included. It's your character here. Don't care. Shut. Shush. We are looking at pictures with your boy, Safi Crook, coming right at you. Starting off with number one, a... Can you, can you please fucking fit this to the screen? Thank you. Fit the screen. Thank you. This is a more expansive shot of the school, where everyone is hiding out. You can even see Trish sort of in the back foreground, or at least I think they're supposed to be Trish. Um, interesting shot to go with. You can tell it's a quick sketch, but I, you know for a storyboard, this really captures the mood they're going for. Uh, so we get AO2, which is, I think, uh, Trish being a bitch. This is AO3, so this is after we've seen Trish, and we've gone into the school. He's about to go up, and he's like, oh, this smells terrible. I know what's about to happen. You know, I missed a bunch of details in my, my read that aren't 100% accurate. Here we got Nasser originally was going to be a bit more straightforward about this. He was going to actually do something. He looks dead. Look at those mangy arms. That drained face. Man is dying. Our man is dead. Here we got his eyes. Ooh. Oh, sweet mother of pearl. Are you all right there, buddy? Need your hand? Need me, to call, need me to call a doctor for you, buddy? Ooh. Man, that's... Ooh, just painful. Painful to look at. Um, the doorway. Honestly, they could have just used the storyboards and just be like, it's so hard on Anon that he doesn't remember it clearly. It's all just sketches in his mind. It's Anon slowly ambling up to the to the rooftop. Then there is the uh, giving it a moment, letting you kind of see the fence before we... Oh, I forgot. This is uh, over the uh, overlay. Here we go. <laughs> it's um, ambling towards the fence. Some plausible deniability is maintained. We have, uh, this one is incongruent with what we see. Uh, as we can see, Fang is smiling and standing up. The implication I get is that Fang is making her way to the ledge, stands there, and then falls off. Like, it's a decision they make later. They're already on the edge when they make the decision. This implies that Fang made the decision earlier. Well, yeah, fair enough. Um, there's one more, which is the one I just mentioned. There is one where Anon is indeed standing over the whole thing. I do prefer he's not there. And we got one more. It's the close-up on Nasser that has the spooky sounds. <laughs> but he's he's just taking a nap. Don't worry. Fang just brought sleep bullets. They're poison suction cups that put you to sleep. It's fine. Everyone is just having a little poison overdose. They'll be fine with a little nap time and a, and a NyQuil or whatever the hell. <laughs> He'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Why are you, why are you so nervous? All right. All right. Whew. All right, let's take a look. What do we got? Find the sketch of Anon falling down the stairs. What? Where? What is the sketch called? Because that makes it a bit easier for me to find. Otherwise, I'm going to see if I can find it myself. Oh, we got Stella's big beak. We got wife. Wounds. What is wounds? Oh, that's, that's the, the Anon got fucked up scene. We have unknowns. He's in a nice jacket. We got some dinosaur dudes. I'm like, we got stone toss fang. <laughs> Fucking schmorky thing is what we need. Clorf, I think they're called. Oh, we got some sketches of like uh, height comparisons for Trish and... I actually kind of like, I like this version of Trish better. Gotta be 100% honest. I kind of like this version of Trish better. Don't know if I like this read better. Here, hold on, hold on. I'll download and I'll, I'll give you. I'll give you a little sneak peek. 
hold on. Hold on. Hold, hold my phone. Hold the phone. Gotta be honest, I like this Trish more. There's something about it. I would have gone for the hoodie a bit lower. I kind of like the idea that the hoodie is a partial hoodie dress. Mostly because I like sweater dresses and hoodie dresses. They're, they're cute. And it also somewhat disarms her appearance. I like this one more because she looks more like a scrappy punk instead of like a disgusting creature. That... Did these motherfuckers include ending to copium? Did they include ending to copium in my art book? Oh my... Ugh. I don't... You don't put copium in your... Well, copium in your... Oh my god, this fucking picture. Ugh. Uh, we got another one, by the way. It's, uh, it's Reed! Kill at him! I... I like him. He looks a bit more like an artist, a bit more freeform, a bit more loose. But I don't know. Um, here we have the ending to Copium. I get it, right? It's, it's not a great ending, but... Leaping Lizard Salad Tosser. <laughs> Jesus. What is this? I'm your prom date, you ugly sack of shit. <laughs> what the hell is this? You don't look a day over 12,000. Oh god, it's Trish instead of Fang at the door. That's just weird. Oh, shit! There's one, there's one more I gotta show you. It's really important that you see this one. No, it's not this one. It's this one. <laughs> Get a load of these goobers! <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. So mention, remember how I said that the controller looks really fucking big? <laughs> it's so huge! Uh, there's also some uh, foam backgrounds, and I like that a lot. Oh, we got the fucking Stone Toss Fang being a little snarky bitch. Get out of here. And the Trish siblings. Um, where is Ra falling down the stairs? Naomi not only uh, cucks Nasser with a human, but with a British as well. <laughs> what does that even mean? Oh, we got... Oh my god, it's Nasser. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Okay, so for context, for this next picture, for context for this next picture, there's this game called Druid, or Secret of the Druids or something, and in it, one dude is floating out of his chair because of some, I imagine, problems. Oh, you mean the one where, where, where he falls down the, the, the outside steps? Is that the one you mean? Sure, we can take a look at that. Oh, what is this? This is adorable. The two separate sprites that slide in and out. Oh my god, they're trying to figure out how to kiss. Should we kiss? How do we do it? It's just a, you got a big nose. It's a beak. Slide in. Oh, they slide. Oh, man, they really did some fucking key. Like, they did the whole fucking thing. Anon is not sure. Anon is unsure and not sure if what. Fang's heart is racing. She's slow key into it. They both agree on the condition that it won't change how they feel about each other if it doesn't work. Oh, yeah, because the physicality and everything. They haven't done much. Fang assures him. Maybe she's a bit assertive, confident, wants to do it. As well as sick of curiosity. No surprise, just a dialogue box. Well? well it's just the lips. The, the tongue, come on. What are you doing? Your mouth hinges way back. I have to hang my jaw. Don't do that. It's stupid. Wait, don't you open, open right now. <sighs> wait, wait, you open right now. That's even sillier. <laughs> Oh my god, how long is your tongue? I think it, I reached your tonsils. Oh, oh god. I think I almost threw up. Oh god, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, it's, it's okay. Um, uh, Let's try the other one again. Okay. Don't open his... Right. Right. It's also the side like this. I don't know, I'd probably never get the hang of this. Really? I, I think it was rather nice. Really? Well, I wasn't going to say I liked it if you did. <laughs> like he's like, I, I was gonna say I liked it if you didn't, didn't. I was gonna be like, if if you didn't like it, I wouldn't like it. <laughs> really? You're a good kisser. You're bullshitting me. No, I'm not. Don't be shy. It's working. Ah, oh, they have a wing hug. Adorable. Very interesting. You're very warm. You taste nice. Wow, your chest is very loud right now, or something like that. It should give you guys an idea. God damn. Oh yeah, I was gonna show you the fucking stairs. 
They have like a whole script for how Anna was going to, to fucking die on live TV. Look at this shit. My man Anon has been destroyed. One can, and this man is obliterated, annihilated. They made A, B, C, D, E. Oh, there's no D. I guess it's got a small dick. There's an A, B, C, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. Just kidding. That's a lot of fucking letters. To be specific, that's nine keyframes they had for this. On top of the four to get him to fall over. That's so... Oh, that would have been a great sequence. A lot of investment for a pretty pivotal moment, so I'm okay with it. The problem is that's like over 20 drawings if you want to get Fang to have some reactions to it. Oh, we got Mayumi with the Kikaku. The art book is great. I'm really glad they included this. Oh, they had a temporary Fang sprite with white pants. What? If Fang wears white, just don't... The neutral ending. Oh, the neutral ending, because there were only three endings at first. And on the Doomer attire, <laughs> looking for jobs. Walks into a place, pizza a place from good ending, and stays to watch the show. Recognizes Fang, she doesn't look happy, nor does she recognize him. He doesn't care, and walk away. Oh, it's that simple. That's the whole ending they wrote out for this. The E ending, the good ending, because a bunch of literary nerds told you you suck. Just doesn't work. He breaks up. He breaks up. They bond while playing the piano. If you have a music composed, maybe we can do the rendition of Fang's own bad songs. Time skip happens at the fit. Oh, yeah, this is the ending thing. City nighttime, taking back home, falls out, blah, 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 blah. And then they have the post credit wedding sequence. Which doesn't really make sense anymore since there's another good ending. Who the hell is crucified Anon? What is he doing here? This is Anon's stub double tardo. <laughs> Say something nice about him because he's been dismembered and torn apart after recording. Oh, they had a prop to make sounds of the body. Oh, that's adorable. I mean, they put in the work. Oh, there's a, there's a, ah, there's a door, but there's a corkboard. Like a, like a drawn corkboard. Vote Naomi. And her, and her, <laughs> the eyes are up case. Oh my god. It's fucking, fucking drawing of like Trish at the bottom trying to peek into the picture because she's too short. She'd just be too short. She's too short for the goddamn picture. Blanky mode. There's like several blanky modes. Man, this is nice. It's best Stella. We got a bench. Why do you guys look so sad? Sit down so we can tell you the bench is friendly painted. <laughs> They're all sad because the bench. Ugh. Ugh. Ugh, my. Yeah. All right. Well, that's taken care of. We've looked at the art book. Let's see what you have to say. I'm done here. That is a snoot. A darn good snoot. The mystery of the do it slide. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Let's go back to it. It's a way better thing to look at anyway. Look at him. Look at this extremely powerful man. Look at this man. He doesn't need two good wings to fly. He just does it by sheer force of will. He only has to play the pay the mana cost anyway. The bollard. The bollard. Please be attentive of the bollard. Oh my god, that is so gross. He's a peeping Tom. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Taking pictures of what? Who, who is Trish sending that to? I like how the fall that he goes through is just hilarious, though. Makes me laugh. All right, let's get back to this. Cotton, 4K. At least Anon didn't stab Fang like Huntington did. <laughs> There's a schematic of this with a guy doing a competitive stepping on a break. Ending 2 was probably the neutral ending. Ending 1 would have been a bad ending, and ending 3 would have been a good ending. And then they made ending 4, and it doesn't make sense. And they made ending 4 for fucking Bonnie Gator again, and it still doesn't make sense to me. <laughs> In Snoot Game Encore. Stop talking about Encore. Encore makes me nervous. I have to play the whole game again, and it'll be so much cooler now. I'll be sad. Like November me will be like, what the hell? I could have waited? Alright, so someone left me something on my community post. Let's take a look. While I look at adorable goober, goober Trish. Ugh, I, lo I love these fucking, these little goobers. I want these little goobers. And then we'll read some stuff on people reflecting on the game. C uh, C Como, you have to, look at these. Look at these, Como. Look at these little goobers. Look at these goobers. They're great. I think they were in that Puppet Pals one. That's where they're from, right? Look at them. I want you to look at them. I like, look at the eyes. The eyes are floating off the face. It's great. It's the best shit ever. Nasa could only kill him per <laughs> Only Fang has the power needed to kill him permanently. 
Can you beat Pikmin 2 with only white Pikmin? This was torture. Says the guy who has done like a whole bunch of fucking Pikmin runs. Press A, exclamation point, by the way. That is press A and then the actual character for the exclamation point. He's been doing a bunch of Pikmin runs and all I can say is this. And yes, the real lobster. I have no idea if there were any other ones that had that. Uh, we got two things. We have, yes, please go to snookgame.com. Please go to reddit.com. It's fucking Reddit, YouTube. You know who it is. I had an idea. What if Anon and Fang were in previous endings? So I made an edit Fang where they would remember Fang. Someone has asked me, or at least suggested the idea, hey, would you would you be interested in writing, like, ending one loops? And I'm like, I kind of want to, but that's a big project, and I got a bunch of those already. But I... Has that ever stopped me, you know? A secret route. What is this? I got this poor, lonely peasant to get into contact with an impulsive goth punk wannabe. Now it's just a matter of time until he fixes that unstable attitude of hers and when they get closer. And then he fucking marries Carl. Oh. Well, I love I love that. I love that Trish is dead in the background and Inko and Wani are just <laughs> oh, Olivia's plan to shoot herself. You got Jingo and Farnger and they're all like happy about it. The, the fucking hot dog lady is so excited. Oh, and Reed is taken away by the pigeons. See you later. Ah, oh, I love ending two fang though. It's just fucking flexing on dead Trish. Uh, what am I looking at, Como? Yes, the eyes are floating off. There's no way you can kill Guts and Rainbow. They they have mascot protection status. It's like you can't kill them because you'll lose the merchandising. You just can't do it. You just can't do it. You can't. All right, who wants to, to read some other people's observations to, to give ourselves a little extra chewing material? Uh, we have time. We could speed run Wani Gator to get my, my saves up to speed. Like, the, the idea of looping the endings was what I had in mind for the cost of moving on. And then someone said, don't do time travel. I was like, okay, then I won't. And I didn't. <laughs> it's just that simple. This is working. Oh, it only has one chapter. <laughs> That's why. I like it that this guy already knows that he's gonna have eleven chapters, right out of the gate. How many? How many words is ten thousand? Oh, five thousand. Well, that's another one to read today. Not a lot of Wani stuff, I know. Guess it's just not the Mexican audience. Let's have a look. See. The further apart the eyes are, the more I trust them. I know you said that. I want to hug that gator is a rethinking of Snoop Game. I want to hug that gator in Snoop Game. It's kind of similar, and I want to get to the rethink of several points. So the characters meet up. Ann Ahmet, uh, Nasser, we gave their introduction to school. Ben did the same, being the school president. Inko and Anna meet up Olivia with misjudgment. Anna has a very rough, kind of rude statement about Fang, while Inko got spooked by Olivia. I don't think these really work. Like, there are parallels to draw. Like, it's obvious that Damien is trying to push Inko and and Olivia to some extent, so there is still that idea of, you know, someone wants this to work. But it's less malicious. Like, these are very superficial observations. Reed and Damien made the main protagonist meet up with their friends, but Anna and I want to be in the same friend group. Inko doesn't seem to mind. <laughs> I could point out more. Yeah, I don't think this is really true. It's just not pairing the one main thing the way Snook it was parrying Inko out of Kennel High. Every single fucking time. Like Mia's involved with like oh, Shisha Mary Shu and this old stuff. Let's see. Okay, well This is probably gonna spoil me, but honestly at this point, I don't really care. I'm done. I've been so depressed of late that I don't care. And also, this ending has proven one thing. It doesn't matter how much I spoil myself. The endings are good, and they speak to me. Going for the fourth ending in one year, second time, I realized something. Marking this with spoilers, for case no one's gotten to that part, is Mia, or is Mia simply just there because the devs at Cave Manon felt that Wani needed an antagonist in the story? Yeah. Don't know why that's a spoiler, but it does feel like that. Every story needs a good conflict and dilemma, but making me such a stereotypical bully character, thus making me... 
making me to her personally and arguably the weakest character. Yeah, but, you know, taking the worst parts of Trisha and Naomi and combining them. It's a really weird combination, too. Because Trish, Trish is far more self-interested and Naomi is more... They don't quite work in the same character. You can't have someone who is behind the scenes subversive and in front of everyone violent at the same time in that way. Also, Trish was really just doing what best friends do, and Naomi was more like, didn't give a shit. Trish is, at worst, actively malicious, and at best, just a misguided friend. But Mia, though, she was just an abusive bully, with hardly any substance or... L oh, wait, here we go. Uh, sure, Trish and Naomi were not antagonists, but they had layers and deep, interesting conflicts. Trish didn't like the direction that the friendship dynamics were going, and Anna was practically inserted into the band, and Naomi just wanted someone else but Nasser to take care for Fang. The way everyone was guiding was, yeah, they had a point to them as well. But Mia, though, she was just an abusive bully. Oh, there's not going to be anything? I was kind of expecting Mia to get something that would make her make sense. In fact, in general, it really doesn't feel like characters have a lot of dynamics going on in the game. Like, what has actually gone on with Damien? Uh -huh. Has anything happened with Liz? Uh -huh. Does Inko have any character to him? Uh -huh. Does Olivia have more going on than she's a little bitchy? No, I don't know. It doesn't really feel like there's a lot going on there. But maybe that'll come as we play through the other endings. And we, 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 we cry over ending one. All that stuff. Playing the fourth ending for a second time, I can't help but wonder if Mia would have been a better vil as the red herring villain. Like, she can be a bitch, but only because, uh, that would actually be kind of neat. That would actually be kind of neat. Yeah, let Ben be the actual antagonist of, of Wani. He does feel like it, though. Like, in ending two, when Ben is on the stage, it feels like he's going for himself. Like, he keeps pushing Olivia. He is actively detrimental. Like, Mia is just a little, is, is mean and pushing Olivia to do stuff, right? Uh, to, to do her homework. But that's stereotypical bully stuff. Ben was like, hey, I know you're mourning, but can you please hurry up? And that's so much ruder. And he gives her a paper like, say this. Because it works. Like, there's so much worse going on here. I mean, maybe he was trying to help. You know, because what Olivia gives an ending to wasn't all that great. Uh, like, he behaves like an insult about how ungrateful he is, despite everything he has done for her. Her in the past and refuses to take his pills. What? What pills? Despite Mia's insistence, as he claims, he just dulls his concentrations. Sure. I guess he has some sort of... Maybe he has ADHD. Which would make sense, you know? He's got glasses, he looks like Mike fucking Dawson, and we all know adventure protagonists are just kleptomaniacs. Gotta take their pills or they just pick up everything off the fucking floor. God damn it, Mike Dawson! Even in my snoot game streams! Get out of here! Hell, it would have been an interesting conflict to explore. Like, our relationship between Mia, Ben, Olivia, and Inko has this contrast. Like, Olivia, the happy ending, blah, blah. Ben and, ben and Mia and ending one... Ben and Mia get the ending one treatment because Mia just gives up on Ben who doesn't realize that it was his fault that Olivia disconnected herself from everything that's going on. That's kind of neat. It also gives Mia a lot more to work with because it's like Mia realizes something and makes the, the adult step. I don't know. I don't know. These are interesting ideas, but, you know, that doesn't mean anything. Inko, you don't understand, Olivia. I got a speed run to a good ending, too, because another timeline save was deleted. <laughs> Wasn't it? No, it got deleted because Steam doesn't back them up for some fucking reason. Uh, okay, let's see. I didn't care much about Ben until ending 4. Yeah, and all the ending sound was an inconsiderate bastard, but in E4, I finally understood him. Oh, I guess E4 is going to be where we learn him. That feels weird. I really would have liked to learn about him earlier. Like, we learn Naomi's motivations pretty well in ending 1, even. She's pretty explicit. And, and Fang's situation kind of gets a lot of attention. Nasser we already know because he talks about it extensively and you have the bro talk beforehand. Trish's situation is explained a little less, but she does very strongly like hint at what she is with like, I can make someone out of you, and on. Well, this is spoiler stuff that's, like, actually spoilers, but it's stuff I've already gone spoiled on, so nothing can be helped.
Trisha, Na okay, here we go. Antagonist of Sunuka and Trisha Naomi, not having any attention, only picking questionable goals and methods because that'll be better. Might be misinterpreted as there are, there's no such thing as truly bad people, but of course it's factually wrong. Mia being an awful person, not having any redeeming qualities is the whole point. She hurts other people because she enjoys it. She doesn't true love or truly care about Ben. The only benefits is having him on the leash, and her motives are purely selfish. Hate seeing characters are viable villains as long as you make them hate them, though. But does she get her comeuppance? Like, I don't know if she gets her comeuppance. Outside of the glitter scene, not, Mia doesn't seem to do much. She does... I will agree with this guy. She does steal the scene. Well, we're doing ending two next, and we're gonna have a great time with that, aren't we? I'm just gonna pull up a poll. Are we speedrunning it? Does this have a tag? Discussion. I would like to see some more discussion. Why can't you all, oh, my boy, read? Oh. Oh, someone asked about the lanterns at prom. <laughs> someone posted a hell of a shot of Fang. What the fuck? Oh, cold nose, cold nose. Here you go, come on. Ha have a little laugh. Recluse spider here, carrots, carrots, whatever. Oh my god. <laughs> Big idiot. He idiot, but he cute idiot. Oh my god, this shit's great. Ah. What the hell is Mega Love Mania? There's like two things here that are talking about this. Lead character designer of Mega Love Mania. They don't know I'm bilingual. Oh gosh, I like this character. Ooh, here's an interesting discussion piece that I personally would like to talk about. But what are you? Mega Love Mania, meet Mar Mariana, the Megalodon, and Justin He. Have a visual loss basis, okay? Embracing your true self and finding your path in life. They need writers, background artists, programmers, and... Uh, I mean, I could apply, but no. If I apply, I lose my magic. All of my powerful, magical abilities to have good analysis and something smart to say will go out the fucking window if I ever take a paid gig. Even if it's unpaid. It doesn't matter if it's an unpaid gig, paid gigs. What ending approach? Get the worst ending? the worst ending first, man. I regret going for the best ending first. Congratulations, Sherlock. You solved the case. You want a fucking medal? <laughs> <laughs> What's this? I would love read more if not for ending three. What happens in ending three? I'm terrified. Terrified. Since Caveman made a parody game of Volcano High, does that mean that KOOP is gonna make a parody game of Wani Gator? They should. They fucking should. Don't be cowards. Let's look at one more and then I'll, then I'll close the poll. I played Snoot Game, but I can't help but feel conflicted about by its premise. I absolutely love the dialogue and the story, but I feel the transition from Fang being non binary back to woman was so forced and unnatural. Was it? Like, I kind of. We'll get to that. Let's just read the rest of it. There wasn't really any tell for me that it was going to happen, just kind of popped up. I also felt that Endings 3 and 4 were a bit too pushed into Anon being separated from Fang to get the writer's vision come to fruition. In 3, Anon for some reason joins the army, even though I don't recall it either ever being mentioned once, and it's not like he didn't have choices. It is specifically mentioned that Anon was going to join the army or go to college. It's just weird that the original good ending doesn't have him go to college. Like, he goes to the army in both endings where he has a future, which is kind of weird. It's also the fact that Anon never communicated during this time, or it appears that such... Well, they were in a break or something, right? 
Even though Fang had mentioned that she had told men in her past that her boyfriend was in the military, so it means that they were in their minds together. I mean, it's hard to communicate from the US military, maybe? I don't know how that works. I admit, I could have missed some things, but it feels kind of bleh. I liked how everyone was happy and ending uh, for Fang itself seemed natural other than the relationship bitch and she had no one else other than Anna by her own account okay I don't know that yet because I'm not too familiar with ending 3 spoiled on it but I don't know too much in ending 4 Anna decides to go to college because he believes in himself thanks to principal yada yada the discussion with Fang is basically this is it situation Fang doesn't want the long distance relationship understandable but it's strange to me that Anon would f finally would find someone he can try to better himself for and decides to leave her and then not try to keep contact for 5 years again Someone's happy, and everyone, everyone's happy, and it's nice to see. I love that everyone has a happy, successful future, and the reunion between Fang and Anon on the rooftop scene is tops around a cup. But there's no cup of information. For me, it just feels like in these good endings, Fang and Anon get years of their lives they could have spent together, stolen away from them. It feels like no reason. I don't know. I mean, I kind of see where they're coming from. Like, five years. <sighs> so many games are like, they, they spend ten years. Like, the history is like, for 1,000 years, nothing changed. And like, 1,000 years is a fucking long time for nothing to happen. <laughs> Stuff happens every year. Uh, oh, someone actually provides some feedback, and it's the highest rate of comments. Let's see what the highest rate of comments have to say about this. Anon's father told him college or service. I don't care which. Yep. He didn't have good enough grades for college in E3, which was why his choice was to join the army. As for Fang, to transition again, she was never non-binary to begin with, and that's why it was so quick. It was something Trish forced on her. The problem I have with that is, like, there's a lot to it. Like, surely, if you're pushed into that, it's like, you know, I like this part of it. Like, sure, I'm, I, I like the pronouns, or I like the name, or I like... The clothing, or like certain, like you can, you can take things from it. You know, we are we are made of the parts as we go along. Like Fang, if they hated everything, would have been a way miserable state. There should have been something that they kept from it. Well, whatever. I'm speculating, and I'm not thinking straight. I'm just very tired. Well, let's see the top comment by a sizable margin. In some parts, where Fang searched, the woman is supposed to feel forced and quick. She's changing herself to what she thinks Anna wants. Anna was the crutch that she lost onto, shaping herself. Yeah. That grown as a person and wants Fang to see that she doesn't really need a crutch to latch onto, but Lucy never does. He leaves for those years to become his own man and grow. Okay. In E4, they keep contact with his word technically dating. I mean, it's hard to date someone when they're literally miles away. I think one of the bonus chapters Anna's and Fang video chatting while in college. Ooh, that's something to look forward to. Oh, yeah. We've unlocked more bonus chapters. We have these three originally. Now we have Passion. And tribulations. Yeah, as much as I personally like Fang's design more when they are, you know, punking it up. Characters are characters, and they go where they go. Can't help it. All right, let's close this. This uh, three votes, and they're all yes. How are there three votes? Snow game. It doesn't have. A, there are no and there. Here's the problem, right? Here's the problem. Here's the problem. Let me tell you what a fucking antagonist is. Because you don't... An antagonist is not what you think it is. An antagonist is anyone who tries to resist the efforts of someone else. Naomi is the antagonist of Fang. And Trish is the antagonist of Anon. Trish doesn't want Anon in the friend group. She wants him out. For several portions in the story, she is the antagonist. Naomi is consistently fighting against what Fang is. Sure, she's right, but that's because you can stop being an antagonist over time. You can befriend someone, and they are no longer the antagonist. They can vanish from the story, and they are no longer the antagonist. They can become an antagonist, despite being a protagonist or a friend. It just means, what role do they serve in the story? Are they a source of conflict? And Trish is a source of conflict. Naomi is a source of conflict. They are technically, on some technical level, antagonists. They are just not assholes who beat the shit out of people. There's a difference. So, I guess we got... So how much am I going to unlock with the next one, then? Like, these two, and then these two, and then this one? Because I know the last chapter is like a super special bonus one. Oh, well. But that's all we got for this. Uh, I guess we're going to speedrun Wani Gator. Put on your big boy pants. We're going to... We're going to... We're going to... We're going to... New me's. Hold on to your britches. Hold on to your britches. Hold on to your britches. In the meantime, I'm going to... I'm so sad. We, we also have to get the elevator scene. It's very important we get the elevator scene. FBI fanboy, no, I prefer KGB fanboy. What the hell kind of conversations have I gotten myself into? I know you have a very lovely introduction sequence. How about you let me get to your goddamn volume slider so I can stop deafening myself?
Thank you. Can I also make this window a bit smaller? Uh, how big is it? I need it to be 720 by 100. Uh, nine, it's 1920 by 180, right? Hold on. I'm, I'm wrestling. I'm wrestling the screen. Ten eighty by nine twenty. Yeah. Why is it smaller than I think it should be? Whatever. Who fucking cares? <sighs> Recording is on. Let's put the pedal to the metal. Let's hack a little squid. I'm in the driver's seat, which by definition means that I am in fact behind the wheel. Tech speed maximum auto forward time maximum or should it be minimum? Uh, what is a forward scroll movement? <sighs> Who cares? Chapter select. No, we are not taking the easy way out. We we are doing this like men. But first, I gotta go to the bathroom, because I've been streaming for a couple of hours. I've been saying, talking a lot, and drinking a lot, and I'm full of emotions. I'm full of full of beans, really. Where's this guy and his and his massive, heartfelt post about what I should do to get the ending I want? Oh, what's this? Oh! There's some spicy stuff being said here. Hold on. I'll be back in a minute. Aren't I a dinkus? All right. Is everyone even still here? Doesn't matter. I saw something in my comments. Ending three is the best ending in my opinion. In my opinion, actually feels like lessons are learned and things have a consequences. Can even work with the epilogue. Ooh, how sexy. The final CG to ending the engraving his brain. <clears throat> I'm curious.
All my saves are gone. Just in case you need evidence. They all fucking died. In front of a live studio audience. Nickelodeon Studios, Florida. Terrible, really. Ah. Nom, nom, nom. All right. I need my oil, or I will die. Oh no. <coughs> what does it even mean? So what did that guy mean when he was like, hey, listen, how do you do this? All right, I'm ready. Bye bye Como, don't worry. We're, we're, gonna, we're gonna go fast. In that previous timeline, the meteor hit. Not even related to the story, it just fucking happened off screen. Who the hell knows what happens? Uh, as Flatting says, okay. Three, two, one, speed run. Oh, fuck. It's queuing all my mouse clicks. Oh, hey, it's Dexter. Shit. It ate my input. We're fucking Newman. Oh boy. Man, the colors are so different. This new screen doesn't have that goofy white overlay that I have. <laughs> oh, this looks so goofy. that Liz has multiple heads when, when they do funny stuff with her head. Oh yeah! We get to draw it! You know what? You know what? You know what? No, fuck! Oh shit, we can't do this actually. I have not yet installed my drivers like an idiot. So I have a Wacom tablet, right? It's an adorable little Intuos, I think it's called. It's an Intuos. Served me well for many years, so far. Problem is, it needs drivers installed, and the drivers require you to restart the fucking thing. Which basically means I can use it, but it won't be good. You know what? Art is about adapting to the circumstances. Let's have some fun! I'll install the drivers later. I haven't even installed Clip Studio Paint, for fuck's sake. Hello? Hello? It's not even responding. It doesn't even know what to do with the input from this. Yeah, it's just, it just has no clue. Hello? Nope. Yeah, it just doesn't know what to do with the input. Alright, um... So we'll just have to do this one raw dog. Nope. Who knows? It's just not figuring it out. That's great. That's great. That's great. with the guns. Did I? No, I didn't. I didn't draw the Gator girl, I held onto the sheet, right? Hold the phone. No, I can't easily check this. There's way too much to go back to. Hold on, we gotta pull up the guide. Like, we're doing a max inco one anyway, so I might as well go for it. Yeah, we get an inco point for this, and I don't want that. I'm pretty sure I held onto the sheet, because it's the nerd answer.
God, I love how everything slides into view. It's like reality can't... Like, Inko's going at any percent speed run in his life. Skills. We have to show support for Olivia. Yeah, we never did did the yelling stuff. But like, hey, maybe we should. Should probably make some saves from time to time. Shit, no! I just realized we probably missed the fucking elevator, didn't we? Shit! We missed the elevator. Aren't I just a clever boy? Hold on. Hold the phone. I need to be in the fucking elevator! There we go. Now we can keep going. It hung a bit. I think it's because it was loading an animation background. Oh, it's the contest announcement stuff. Bum, 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 bum. Which one did I choose here again? Can't hate you and cheer her on. Yeah, I pick I pick can't hate you, so I missed out on those points. Normally you can get some Olivia points here, right? You can get Olivia points here. But you also get Inco points if you take the other one. So we missed out on one because of this. Look at the cute little face, school. Fucking Yaticon. Oh, we're going to the arcade! Oh yeah, these these fucking goobers. Mr. Ballsack. <laughs> Olivia, you okay there, buddy? You looking a little uh, a little pale around the cheeks there, Inko. <laughs> How are you reaching the controls from back there? Ah, oh, this song is so great though. for monkeys. How does Coach Sully exist? Oh yeah, we get the... <laughs> I love this. They put in so much work for a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> he stopped smoking an active actual rat. Can you please stop calling Sexy Anon? I know he's a Chad, but he can't help us right now. I love that the, the, the door handle is a bunch of bananas. Oh no, there's a hand. It's the Simpsons. We just get a black screen segment. I mean, they mostly avoid that, but I'm fucking around a bunch. This is all queued up, by the way. I've stopped holding the hot the hot key. Oh, it chose an option for me. That's not great. Shit! It's auto choosing options for me when I do this. Oh, here it is. Okay, good. I think I went for I should be focusing on these pictures, which is the fun one because then you get the little background. Yeah! 
It's the one of two inco points I got. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh yeah, because of the, the, the electric shock. I should not take the key. Oh yeah, we're stuck in the doors for the storm. We're assembling machinery. You know, between uh, everything I've been writing, I need a female protagonist in one of my fucking stories. And then Yadakon's very tired from using a big axe. He's a very strong man. Don't doubt him. <laughs> He's a big boy. I want to find true love. I want to smooch the gator. Hugging is never enough. I think I went for... He didn't mention this option. I think I went for chicken pizza because it sounded exciting. Like it was actually something worth trying. Oh man. Vinny just flew in from the ceiling. Uh, go find Olivia. They would give her shit for drinking a drink. And we ask her for help. And with that help, with that help, both of you are wrong. It's winter. We got her in like 10 minutes. Oh no, Yadikon's dead. Uh, ben! <laughs> ben, what the hell are you doing? I'm pretty sure this isn't decent for class. <laughs> I love the motion breaks if you go through it too quickly. It's great. Uh, we're not ready to say goodbye. Because you're in the fucking way. <laughs> don't move up, please. No, don't, don't move back. Please, Ben. There's so many directions you can go, and you've gone in all the wrong ones. <laughs> he snapped his dick off. You idiot. You goddamn clown. Just bent 90 degrees. Pops off. Clean. No blood. Just like a fucking mannequin. We've got to climb the stairs, and then we have a cute scene on the bench. This is really adorable. Like, they used custom assets for that instead of the, the, the normal standy dolls. That's really nice they did that. Gives that scene a little punch. Let me get all the little, little, little goobers. Oh, yeah, the fucking Bakugan. The Gobugan. I think we tucked her in properly, right? Yeah, we weren't going to be too harsh about it. Oh, no, we've been, ac we've been accused of all kinds of weird stuff. Oh, we're going to the gallery. Hello there, Elena. Bye, Elena. Cool pictures. Can I buy them? No. Okay, bye. I've changed into my shirt. Watch out there. Oh, boy. Oh, fuck. We're schmoovin'. Oh, man. I should really get some food. Oh, you got some shit food, Inko. Why do you suck at this? I gotta give a speech. My speech is shit. Oh, no. I'm garbage. I broke my phone. Now I have a job. Olivia looks way better in this art. And she has way more cooler hair. I still love this one. It's so good. The poncho is neat. I like how they did her hair. Even if she looks a little fucking tired. Get it? Because she got wheels. <laughs> and then their relationship falls apart. And, and she says a slur. And the, the glass and the blood and the everything. Complete. Get the other endings to get something extra. Huh? Did I get that the first time? Yes. Well, we sure beat the video game. That was fast. <laughs> Took like 10 minutes. Well, that's what you get when you play with, with Shmoove Master Inko. When he puts his pedal to the metal and he hacks a little squid. No, Olivia, Inko is my skinny. <laughs> oh, no! You can't do that on live TV. You can't say it out on the radio. You can only say that on TV. That was a joke in Fairly Odd Parents, wasn't it? In Dutch, the, the one they use is basically like jerk. Eichel, which is like an acorn. But we love our strong Ks. Just like with cancer. Conquer. Yeah. You can't say that on the internet. You can only say it on TV. What was I looking at? I was going to look something up. I forgot what. Very stupid. Brain broke. Brain broke. 
<sighs> what the fuck is GitHub that what? Sweet mother of pearl. What is this? Snootfix.github. It's a massive archive of uh, a bunch of stuff. What if chapter one? What if chapter two? What if chapter three? What the fuck are we talking about here? Well, these are pretty small. What does a large look like? Why did he just open like a bajillion things? Oh, uh, no. What the fuck just happened? What does an XL look like? That's not an XL, that's like baby. It's baby size. You're small. Like a b small like baby. They can have character filters and everything. Jesus. <laughs> Story 2. The Roomba Roombasian. Carnival, I hardly know her. Gosh, there's a lot here. What, what are the biggest links? You got extra small, which is an out of epilogue. That's fucking four paragraphs. That's not an extra small. That's just like a page. Slap. Your standards are shit and you should feel shit. Oh, th that's an extra large. Jesus, that looks like hell, though. Props for writing that, I guess. Bad Apple. I forgot what Bad Apple was. I know it's one of the fix we're eventually going to have to do. It's one of the fix I will eventually have to endure... I mean, I'm okay with it. It's gonna be fun reading something. I hope that some other characters get the spotlight too so I can mix things up a little bit. But, gosh, I love how this goes from like, there's nothing. We know the length. We know that no one wrote it. We know the title and then it goes, oh, here's a bunch of, whoop, there's characters. It's status. Is... But I do want to write some things. Ooh. But I do want to write with some female leads. I want the characters to dress up cute. You know, I was... What the fuck? I was, I was thinking about turning on um, Big Blue, the last uh, lap music for that because of how fast we were going. But uh, I never got around to it. I forgot about it somewhere down the line. Oh, well. Well, I think we did everything that really needed to be done. We've done the ending. We've, um... No record! No record! It's a new lap record! And that one cuts off, like, abruptly. I think it's because it's N64 and they didn't want to have the trailing part of the sentence, but hey. I like him. I like it's a new lap record. It's from Star Wars Pod Racer, Episode 1. Um, and no record! It's from Mario Party 1, because the translation was kind of shit. I think it's a new record! It's from Smash Melee? Try the name Danny. But for what? Here's the thing, though. Okay, listen. We're, 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 in, we're in me time. We're going to me time. Stop recording. Cease. We're going into me time. We're officially in overtime, having fun. Just do have a little fun. Just kidding around a little bit. Please. 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 Um, I need to find this. I need to find that it's true. Here we go. It's the Smash Melee announcer when you, when you, hit, the, when you hit the sandbag. A new record! That's so good, though. Don't you just feel like you got a new record? Like he says it, but you know it in your soul. A new record! You got a, you got a new record. Star Wars Pod Racer. A new lap record. Can I, can I find the soundbite? It's great. I want it. I want it. I need to remind myself what it sounds like, because I probably twisted it in my brain. It's a new lap record! Oh, it doesn't cut off as abruptly as I thought, but I still like his zest. It's a new lap record! He's very excited and a little bit tired. <laughs> Mario Party. Can, can we get... Can we get new record? Because I'm pretty sure they don't even pronounce the D. But what voice instructions did they give at the booth, for fuck's sake? Yeah, you barely hear the D, if it's there at all. <sighs> 
Oh no, scary Dave got me more stuff from... So Denny, okay, listen. What are, what are you thinking of with Denny? And two, I have another thing I want to do. I want to do Ophinia as the lead. Now, what you have in Amalgam High... I'm not talking about Ophinia as she is in the uh, Vol Volcano Forge cardboard. Because that is an adult human Ophinia. No. I I'm not doing Amalgam High because that's supernatural and that doesn't work. I want Ophinia as like a five foot... Like less than five foot shorter than Trish like a gremlin. Like... She's a bird. She's light bones. You can throw her around very easily. She's, she, she could jump like crazy. Basically, she's just a little fucking gremlin. And she hates it. She hates it. Uh, but that'd be too goofy. Danny, though. Okay, well, Scary Dave, you know what? Throw it at me. You know what, Scary Dave? Has it ever stopped you? Can I, Do I even possess the means to stop you? Come on. Ruin my day. Make me, make me sad. <laughs> Probably be happy anyway. This is the part, by the way, I recommend that you imagine me doing that little kobold dance. I lost the kobold gif. Fuck. I lost the kobold gif. <laughs> uh, what is this? jumps for the booba. That's so mean. And Dragon's Dog was weird. Oh, let's see if someone's shouting in the shouting area. Scary Dave, you got me stuff from Reddit. I thought you meant you had more stuff to show me. I'm sorry. <sighs> Let's see if... I just want someone on Daggerheart to have a dumb opinion again. Oh man, it's new stuff. Am I strong enough? Am I strong enough? We got three holdings from our friend. I was eating something, sorry. Oh, 
the fuck is this? So, you're the punk I've heard about. Hold on. Hold the fuck on. I kind of want to share this, but... I can't do it without breaking something, so let's just listen. I like how she fucking... <laughs> so it's Anon, like, cracking his knuckles, and then we see Mia just having it going a goddamn headlock. Oh, that's great. Tail comes out. He's got his shoes. And Rainbow! <laughs> Gets angry. Yo, that hurt my ears. But, but Rainbow is perfect. I'm taking away your cooking glass. Brody, you're a certified chef. Keep doing it. <laughs> What's this one? <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck is this? <laughs> you, you fucking skinny. I told you, core is light. Ouch, forgive me, my gator deity. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh my god, I fucking love this version of her. Oh, please, please, hold on. Hold on, you have to see this. You, you have to see her. You must see this woman. You have no idea what you're missing. Please. Look at <laughs> Look <laughs> Look at this fucking gremlin. <laughs> oh. Okay, we got one more. Let's see. It's Olivia, delete the snoot chops when you're done. Shit. I can never get a signal in your apartment. Hey, can I use your laptop? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, thanks. <laughs> what the fuck? Holy shit, dude, what's the matter? What happened? <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> There's so much porn. Well, what the hell are you doing looking at my private? <laughs> I mean, you know, we all fucking know. Oh, it's Scary Dave, there you are. You're giving out cooking licenses, are we? Making people certified chefs. Shit. But, but I gotta be- listen, Olivia has the pornography. You know she do. You know she do. She can deny it. But you're not stuck in a wheelchair, painting, bored out of your mind, without looking up some, you know, first it's tasteful news, you know, get a, get a feel for the anatomy. Before you know it, you got a folder that's like, called something like, don't look here, or nothing important. Everyone should always put their porn in a folder that's called paperwork. Because no one's... Uh, I mean, Packers might look there and we'll find something anyway, I guess. God damn, I fucking love this. This is... Like, how... Did, did you just have your laptop unlocked, Olivia? How fucking stupid are you? You can have a, a four-digit pin for your laptop now. This, why are you just letting people in there? Yabingus. I'm gonna bonk her. Yabingus. Well, you know what? This has been a fun stream. This has been a great stream. Thank you for providing some supplementary entertainment. I'm, I'm going to leave this here so that when we start up the stream next time, <laughs> I, I'm reminded of this picture. And I'm like, what's the context for this again? And why does she look like such a bean? You know, they complain about the Cal Arts style, but all I see is a bean for me. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh. E. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all for coming. What are we doing next time, though? Oh, fuck. What are we doing next time? Are we just doing Ending 2? Ending 2 seems like the logical answer. Just go for Ending 2 and Snoop Game. Or we could do more stuff for um, the other one. The, the, what are they called? The menu type themes are so different between the two of them. And it also, for some reason, makes me think of the menu theme they have for uh, Angels with Scaly Wings, which is really weird when you think about it. Because it's just a couple of ping-pongs of the piano. Okay, if I recall correctly, Angels with Scaly Wings has, in fact, put out the the thing of, like, uh, we're making a sequel. And Lord, it be coming. Oh yeah, I love the whole investigation start that the game has. Ugh. Oh my god, this game is 2017. I 
bought this as a joke. I played it as a joke. Why did I buy it again? I think someone said it was great. And everyone I liked is dead. But I, I think they were making a squeakle. Right? And I, I thought they already were putting the squeakle up. No upcoming releases. Huh. I was under the impression that they were close enough that they were announcing stuff. Maybe I'm just getting mixed up. Oh well. Well, I think we're doing Snoop Game Ending 2 next week, though. The ending where everyone cries, and I'm probably going to write some shit afterwards, because this is how it goes. Danny, though. Danny's a cute name. Danny, you can put in anything. Clothing-wise, I mean. The fashion is... I mean... St. Hammond could use a tailor, right? I could see that working. That sounds kind of fun. A tailor in St. Hammond. You know what? Thank you for the idea, Crazy Dave. Sca scary. Crazy Dave. Oh, no. Stop me. I will boot up Plants vs. Zombies. God damn it. I can't stand this fucking bean. Thank you all for coming. It was nice to have you around, but now we're done. We had our fun. And someone... God fucking damn it. That The shooting is so visceral. Fuck. God damn. It is so much worse than I thought. Like, I was spoiled. On I, I looked through a playthrough and I had the sound off because I didn't want to hear the guy talk the whole time. So I missed a lot of the cues. Uh, and, and, and actually just reading it and letting it go through my word <laughs> obligatory I, this sound for this fucking though like what, what was the idea there anyway with Nasser being dead on the ground I wonder what the idea there was like, was it gonna be more more aggressive about it instead of the more lay, sort of laid back quote unquote the more uh, thoughtful shit you know I, the idea, by the way, is that there's a part of Anon that's telling him that he's a fucking loser and he should just lie down and die. Hence why some of the, the voices... I don't know if that came through. Probably didn't, because I'm a fucking loser and I'm stupid and I should probably jump off a cliff before I do anything else with my life. Next week, come by as we have another ending that makes everyone cry and that is very sad and it's not great. Maybe one day I will write an alternative ending where Fang being non-binary is the right answer so we can all have that. Or maybe Fang dates a girl because I just female fucking protagonist. I'm sick and tired of Anon and Inko at this point. And Nasser, because I also wrote for Nasser. I guess I got Olivia, but she doesn't really count because Olivia's not going to wear something nice. Olivia's in a poncho. The outfit of someone who gave up. Thank you for coming. Uh, next week, same time as ever. Um, the Friday. We might have another Saturday. Uh, things might change a little, but nothing on your end should be noticeable, so don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just remember... If your gator deity throws a bottle at you, wear a helmet. Don't walk around with your head bare, you bingus.